Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. I didn't realize that once you set the affiliate anniversary celebration for one year, it doesn't remember for the next year, so oops. I guess you could say happy affiliate anniversary for today's stream. Normally, we celebrate in December. But from the standpoint of music, we're going to do a small side before we get to PSO. I did not know Yuzo Kosihiro did any work on Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, the soundtrack we're listening to. I couldn't find any music for Lull of Uweki's PS2 version. I kept getting the anime, which doesn't help. And then I double-checked the Namco X Capcom we were listening to earlier. He only did two themes. We listened to them already. So... That's cool, I guess. I didn't know he did anything Castlevania-related until today. So we're officially in 2006 in his, uh, discography. Something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and boot up the game. We'll play this probably next year. The uh, Portrait of Ruin, that is. I, I remember mostly liking it, except for, like, one specific thing. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. Let's check what the beat is. And we'll see who's available. I'm so happy these characters got some levels. Well, except for Azure. Azure, I got to 180, and I'm like, uh... Red Ring helps, but dot dot dot. They still don't feel great. I might switch Azure off to a different ID. I, I kind of like their color names matching their IDs, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't really want to play Blue Hunter. So it's like, hmm... I'll think about it. I like her character design, I don't like her ID for Hunter. Like, do I really want to do Seabed with Hugh New World? Not really. I think she's probably actually the worst Hunter to do it with. I, I would rather have Traps or... Um, just roll ATP on other areas. Because technically, Humar is more accuracy than her for health portions of that. But anyway, it is still apparently even B. So if there are people that would like to hop in, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just do some solo stuff to warm up. Hmm. Not like super far from leveling either. Do a quick warm-up match while people come in. Oh, XP rate is gone. That's a bit unfortunate. Stream just up to 360p. Sorry to hear it, Chris. Hopefully that does get resolved at some point for you. So. Let's put the Heavenly Arms back on while I have this other mag. realize I did put his Excalibur away last time. I do recall that. <clears throat> Try to join in, but unstable, unsure unstable manner has been today. A last level run without crushing or dropping. If you want, you could try hosting. Maybe that would help. So if you pick an ID, we'll just do runs based off of what you could play. If nothing else, I could just leave the Heavenly Arms on this character. I think it's less likely to drop if you're the host. From what I recall. When people were having connection issues. Because it's not that they can't eventually get in the game. It's that they can't join other people. Yeah, we get to experience the new lag, as it were. Let me know what ID you're picking, Chris. We'll play around what character you want to play.
In the meantime, I'll do the beginning of TTF while I'm waiting, I guess. Well, I was gonna say, pick whatever you want, Chris. You're hosting. <laughs> Look into your heart. It's not XP week anymore. It's currently drop rate week. So it would probably be normal drops versus boss rares. That doesn't mean you can't do boss runs. Like, episode 4 would still be viable, for example. It is indeed even beat. So we can play some QP lasers if you want. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll just hop in. In the meantime, I'll just kill enemies. because I have a feeling Chris will take a while to log in if he's having internet issues. That's why I'm not in a rush. That's for clarity. I can at least do some rare checks and maybe kill Dragon. Get a little closer to leveling for next time. I mean, 700,000 XP is not that far off from leveling. That's like, that would have been like 100, that would have been the 100% XP needed to level like 60 levels ago. Damn, we have more than enough time to clear at least one or two runs in episode four. I'll probably bring in my raw cast. Or I could technically bring in another, well, I don't really want to bring another character for leveling. I might need to actually DPS. I'm thinking traps are a good complement because the Ramar would have trouble uh, with dwarf ons and also uh, big swarms of characters overwhelming him. So if I if I provide confuse traps and freeze traps, I could deal with pretty much everything he doesn't like. Game is up. Okay, I'll check boxes and I'll swap in. Look at us go, chat. We got twenty thousand experience. Yeah, I'm definitely convinced I want more raw casts. So I think my my final character bank might be two raw casts. Just so I have a bit more coverage. I do like episode two runs. And right now I have yellow ID, which can do it. But I might make one that's more episode one focused. Yeah, because I'll have two Rock Seals, then potentially three Rock Casts. Then I'll have Faux Newmans of every color. And honestly, I might just delete my Humar for some other character. Unless I can really think of where I would enjoy a Humar. <clears throat> it's like, I do do a lot of solo TTF, so like in theory I could do it. It's just that leveling him is such a pain. I think I'll like him more in like 20 levels once he actually gets closer to like 1200 ATP. But like right now, it's just like I have a thousand ATP character or so with no buffs. It just feels terrible. So I'm assuming it's just Chris and I in the game. I don't see anybody in here already. Uh, We'll probably just do standard boss class. Actually, what ID was your character? I forgot to ask. That, I think, is more important than anything else. Are you, like, green or red, at least? Oh, you're red. Oh, that's fine. Uh, just do standard boss quest, then. <laughs> I forgot to actually ask, because that's slightly more important than the class chosen. Yeah, red ID is able to get cannon rouge surface, and then underground. It'll be, I think, heavenly armor, centurion ability, but more importantly, another heaven striker chance. Might as well just go there for value. Okay, I was double-checking. I, I do have 10 Moon Atomizers. 
What's the name of standard boss quests? Uh, Massive Attack E. I say, we're gonna teach Chris today. He's so used to be selected the quest. <laughs> Poor Chris. <clears throat> yeah, A, B, and C are the ones we, uh, we, we run for tickets. You'll know it's E because you'll see the... It'll be the two Rappies in the middle. It's definitely a quest you'll recognize. That's how you know if you messed up or not. Let's see. What, which one did we get? Oh, you got it. Good job. So I'll probably need your Shifta. I don't know if I need your d -band. I mean, you can if you will. I'm going to look to shut down these waves. So it's not going to be ATP clearing. I'm going to put a Confuse Trap down, actually. Yeah, I don't need a lot of damage, honestly. I should be fine. Rockcast is overpowered, so... Just means I'm actually going to use my Confuse Trap more for crowd control. It's a point. It's actually level 15. Yeah, that's good. I mean, like, I still combo kill Zeus, so, like, does my job really change at all? I don't think so. Yeah, I just don't have any melee weapons here. But Chris is able to cover my weakness. Plus, as I stated before, I have fire traps that I could use just to speed it up a little. Okay, so here's our chance at Cannon Rouge. Oh, I paralyzed every single one but the one fighting Chris. My bad. Yeah, just have to use more confused traps. I, I think this gets to showcase like how powerful raw casts are or traps are in general. That you can you can win episode four with the raw cast Ramar, and I don't even think it's a struggle to be real with you. As long as they have some paralysis, like you're good. You almost hit me. Yeah, like, like, did that seem like a struggle? It seemed pretty easy to me. Just make sure you're properly geared. <clears throat> I think episode 4, for the most part, is pretty well balanced. Like, it is definitely really hard to solo with some of these classes, but multiplayer is perfect, right? Welcome, Draken. Oh. Actually, Draken, would you like to hop in? We're just doing boss runs currently. Trying to get Heaven Striker and Cannon Rouge. We're pretty early in the quest, so I don't mind resetting. We're like literally two minutes in. More damage is always welcome. Okay, we'll give you a minute. Let, let us know once you're logged in. We'll uh we'll reset after that. We're just doing some checks. <clears throat> I am not gonna say no to any damage. But I was saying before, like Traps really make up for the fact if you have a deficit in the party. Like, it is ideal, obviously, if everybody has challenge mode weapons and charge Vulcans with, like, a bazillion hit and things like that. But, like, honestly, if you don't have the lockdown, <laughs> things like freeze traps and confuse traps just shut down entire encounters. As long as you use them smartly. But, like, here, I could confuse trap them so that they stop circling in on me, and then I could confuse some of them. So even if I don't have a melee weapon, Spread Needle and Traps make up for everything. Kind of unfair. Oops, I'm gonna shoot this guy so we get rid of the S Starks next. Ooh, unlucky procs. Logged in? Okay. We'll just check the Dorfons and kill them, and then we'll we'll make another game. Let's see, Chris has done the perfect strat, probably unintentionally, but you can just walk to one side of the arena, like how Chris did against the wall, by the way, for single player tips. So that way the Dorfons can't reach you. <laughs> There's your fun fact for the day. There's a lot of cheese you could do, especially if you're a force, to get through this. Otherwise, if you accidentally summon two, you can actually just back up and hide behind the bridge. Have some faith in me, damn. Yeah, otherwise paralysis is key. 
Okay, so let's slash lobby. Let's make another game so we have Draken in. So Draken would like more Heaven Striker chances. Potentially V101 if we switch IDs, but I think Chris is still red ID. We'll give Chris a minute or two. <laughs> Plunk. There we go. We are in. So I do think episode four is. Oh, Imperameter barely slipping in. Hello, Imperameter. <laughs> Welcome, Imperameter. Yeah, surprise indeed. Well, now things are going to go very easy with double fours. I'm just going to bring any ATP that's needed for regular clears. So my job is, if I was playing with less people, traps for absolute crowd control supremacy, spread needle to shut down Dorphon, potentially some Gorons. Otherwise, I'm going to be pumping my charge Vulcans into the nearest zoo. Since those take a while for forces to kill, and QP Blazer is a little faster, but still not great. Otherwise, the more that our forces just go without being struck, the happier they are. It just allows for really quick kills like that. Of course, I can't help them if they're literally between everybody. <laughs> I could do this, though. I can help a little bit. <laughs> yeah, waves like this, I just need to hit the delete button. Although, with higher level... Shift it. I don't need to use charge. So it shows you that, like, with buffs, you don't even necessarily need to have charge. Depending on the run you're doing, like, it's definitely good to have charge Vulcans, but if you're, like, really, really struggling and or refuse to trade, um, as long as you have some hit percentage on Vulcans, it's usually just quote unquote good enough for Rangers. It shows that just like shift uh, will carry the damage. Hello, Galatine. I think the visual effect of Galatine is still in effect, even though it no longer does anything. Oh, they're trying, chat. Yeah, I mean, you can see you're just shutting down these waves completely. We'll also try to delete the Astarks. Those things I might use charge on so that I can combo kill guaranteed. Right, so we know we're not going to participate in this wave. This gives us time to just set up on the zoos. Slightly, actually. Oh, they got hit pretty high up. That's also kind of the downside. I have to think about if there's a lot of stack of Bowie. You need to be further back than normal. That's more my fault. It's not a player fault. Got to adjust to the team that we have. Okay. Ooh, the foam are galatining. Brutal. The poor Dorfon's like, no, don't hit me, and Galatine's like, slap, get out of here. Yeah, exactly. Poor Galatine, poor Galatine, uh, Dorfon. <laughs> How much damage could a force do? He's not even a hunter. <laughs> Game over. Floor them a little closer. Look at that. We even create a wall of things that can't reach us. How convenient. I like that my missed Vulcan shots still made the Astar freeze, so I still did my job regardless. What are you gonna do in my job? Goodbye, other zoo. I guess I could technically freeze these guys. Yes. Other usually. Let's do some fire traps here. I don't think there's a point to confuse trapping. Heavenly mind.
Yeah, you can see they take a little while to kill, and then I just do that and instantly murder them. So here's a good example where we just want to try to do as much crowd control as we can. So this will buy them pretty much as much time as they need there. And again, the thing that will die the quickest will be the satellite lizards, so I'm not going to worry about clearing those as a ranger. That's why I said before, I think it's pretty well balanced. Like, if you have a force or you have pew pew laser, then you can basically do whatever you want. Oh, I got hit by laser, that sucks. How is he lasering? I paralyzed one. How annoying. I was expecting both of them to charge, but I was not expecting the laser, because that stopped me from paralyzing. That wave's pretty hard to do. The only thing that can, the only way to set that up properly is like, horses can stop gafoing there, but they also have to gafoe to kill the other weave, unless they use rifoe. That, that that wave's always awkward. I would say in multiplayer, it's just like, uh, they're never gonna group close enough to hit. Fortunately, that's the only awkward wave in multiplayer. Before. Our job is just to kill the zoos as quickly as possible. Give our team a break. Since Spread Needle is so strong, honestly, I don't even really need to use Charge Arm here. I'd rather just have the constant utility of shutting things down. I'm not in a rush to kill that S star. Make sure the other guys are locked down first. I'm always too close to the zoo. Every time I think I'm not there, I'm like, damn, every time I'm wrong. Rip. Despite the confuse, I still landed the paralyze at the end. Confuse. See, when I get more free slots, 100%, I'll take it here confuse. This is one of my favorite songs from the soundtrack. There's one I like a bit more though, although it's pretty good. Apparently I have more escape dolls, I'll drop it for the king. Also, apparently I've died fluids for some reason. I think I was holding them from last time. I just dropped these, so I don't have to find them later. There we go. So I think I need Vulcans, because I think it's double two, right? Oh, that's the wave. Yeah, shutting down that wave is crucial. That wave can really annoy people. Oh, that's a lore is disgustingly good. Now we switch to charge arm. We don't mess around with these. If they want to get in range, they could die. Horses are too far from the uh, Rappies route. I always forget about that wave. No Halloween cookies for us there. Um, I guess I could put a freeze trap down. I got nothing better to use my freeze traps on, honestly. Damn, the Grancing is real. 
I'm definitely picking up grinders for challenge mode. I'm gonna need quite a lot. <clears throat> I mean, if you think of it this way, I potentially need multiple plus 250s, depending on how many I get. So that is four or less three stacks of auto grinders. I need to put a free strap down here. Ooh, Chat killed really quickly. I think I'm gonna reach this in time. Paralyzed one, throws the other two. There we go. Give the team some time to stack up Bowie, so we just focus on the zoo. Now that was a devastating paralysis. It just got cooked. And only one accidental paralysis, which is not bad. As long as I don't do too many more, I think we're fine. on drops today. I guess the drop rate up is actually working. We go back for that tri grinder. Oh, that reminds me. Should probably respectfully pick up some truck fluids for the team. I'll leave him in the next room. That's about as good as I can get it. I did freeze all three and paralyze two. They're pretty far apart, so paralyzing all three is kind of difficult. Welcome, Drew. Hope you're doing well. I guess I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Hopefully things are going well. Where do you believe in the forces? Oh, I leveled up this, this character? I wasn't even paying attention. Well, now I have a ton of free straps. Extra accuracy is actually good. Just woke up, some fresh coffee and breakfast. Nice, nice. I love I still see my uh, five fluid drop earlier. I'm sure it'll be gone by the end of the room. Got anything to worry about there? Otherwise, we're just listening to more... Apparently, Yuzo Hero worked on Portrait of Ruin. I'm not sure what songs, but they're there. Now I just gotta find a good coffee grinder for an espresso machine. Well, I will tell you, unfortunately, I do not drink coffee. I cannot assist you in your endeavor. But maybe somebody in chat can recommend. <laughs> Although, truthfully told, I think the people that would probably know are not awake yet. There we go. I feel like that chai fluid was not long for this world. Here's a perfect example where we just go freeze, and then we paralyze. Easy cleanup for our team. I'm gonna put a little happy freeze trap down in the middle, and then I'm gonna walk away. He actually just got stun locked out of his mind. Everyone's drinking a cup, cup, cup of coffee. I'm not a fan of the taste either. It's kind of like that with things like alcohol. I don't like things that actually taste like it. So like if it if it has like something else with it, I don't mind as much. Coffee, it's a bit harder to mask. That's like, hmm. 
generally speaking, I try to avoid caffeine. Me and caffeine don't agree with each other. We're, we're not on speaking terms. Yeah, like I could definitely could not have a black coffee, for example, when I did try a couple of them. rather just drink milk in the morning. That's fair. Wow, we're going to be sub 20 minutes? Okay. I mean, I guess it goes really fast when you got two forces. <laughs> And pew pew laser. Half shutdown is not bad. I, I don't think I'm speeding it up necessarily more than the forces for sure. Right, so as long as I don't activate it, I think the cutscene won't break. I think that's what I learned. Or excuse me, as long as Chris doesn't touch it is more accurate. Whoever's hosting, I think can break the cutscene by activating it first due to stream delay. Really silly. They honestly should probably fix that. Oh, that red guy is so done. Get out of here. Yeah, let us know if you have anything on your mind today, Drew. I was gonna say, we talk about all sorts of things. This doesn't have to be PSO related. I might as well just make the category Let's Chat, because I will blabber all over while playing PSO. I'm like, I can practically do this boss with my eyes closed, so we're, we're good. <laughs> yeah, so we usually ends up being in part of the challenges where we uh, try to play two games at once. Let's see, do I Dolphin? I don't think so. I'm going to save Dolphin if we get below 3k. But what I can do in the meantime is fix Synchro. That way I'm more likely to get invincibility triggers in the future. Right now, run the missile here. Missile outrun. Any knockdown there sucks. See, this is arguably where if I had so much health, if I could get to the point where I have so much health, I don't get knocked down at all here. It depends on if it multi hits or not, if it would be worth HPing up. That's something sandbox mode would teach me. Yeah, so I'm doing very consistent steady damage. Oh no, speaking of doesn't get knocked down. Those spinners though. I'm activating Dolphin. It's a little desynced. It's still salvageable, but Dolphin should help fix it. Because if it reels back, I can still shoot it. Oh, or somehow it only hit one side even though I was right in front of it. I've never seen that happen before. I think that's the first time in all of Dolphin's usage I have ever seen it not be wide enough to hit that. I think Chris will save it though. He's got to get one more hit on it. Oh, one hit. Unfortunate. Weird. I guess I was too close with Dolphin? I, as I said before, I've never seen that miss before. That's actually a new one. Dolphin has a like stupid broken hitbox. I was pretty sure I was centered with it because of where I was standing. So... Must have been something about the real back animation. It could be like a Z-axis thing. Actually, you know what? Only one person is needed in there. I don't need to do anything. I'm gonna go back over here. Yeah, let's set up for the, the rest of the boss. Let's switch into Vulcan here. Need a little bit for the boss. Surprise. <laughs> Almost like I knew where the boss was going to go, champ. GG. It tried. Yeah, maybe I have to back up further with Dolphin. It could be something weird with its hitbox. I, I would believe there is Sega Jank, that a hitbox that literally hits an entire room will miss a point blank for no reason. I would absolutely believe it, champ. No doubt in my mind. 
Yeah, that was that was sub 20 minutes. That was pretty fast. That's still a decent amount of XP, if nothing else. But sadly, just got money. Yeah, he was, like, starting to lean back on my screen, but he wasn't, like, that far back. But I, I guess hitboxes be weird. Yeah. I guess he Z-accessed himself. That's the only thing I can think of, because the dolphin is really wide. But it is funny that I only got half of him when that happened, versus just missing all of them. Yeah, I could maybe ask around, Drew. I know a couple of people that drink espresso, ha like, slash have an actual espresso machine. But offhand, I was gonna say, for those other purposes, not so much. I'm not blessed with the coffee knowledge. I like that I could PP create, which is kind of funny. We'll give Chris a moment or two to make the game. We'll do angry stomps in the lobby. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Because he normally thunka thunka thunkas, which you can't hear because I have the game volume lower. But, like, could you imagine if the angry stomp made him thunka thunka thunka? I didn't get V101, but I got Heavenly Battle V101 at home. That's always good. And that's all you really need. V101 is more of a, I'm done with the game. <laughs> it's not something I normally hunt at all. It, it's an incidental rare most of the time. Like, we'll usually play Green ID into it. I think we got enough one more one more time for uh, Even Beat. I think we can fix it. If nothing else, I mean, my Rock House doesn't care about Even Beat, so I, I can force it all the way to the end if we need to. Thunka, thunka, thunka. I love when the music is quiet. I can hear the thunkas. This seems also really good. I've learned I just like Richter theme. That, that's all I learned listening to Castlevania music. I'm like, oh. I wonder why I like it. It's, it's the same theme, it's just different versions of it. Like, what is my favorite Castlevania 64 theme? It's the title screen, which is Richter theme. I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. Checks out. I don't got anything to do here. I'll just wait. On Cannon Rouge. After that, we'll see what characters Chris would like to play. At least he did get his Ramar up a few levels. I think he was 133 last time. He's definitely gone up there in levels. Tangus leveling is huge for me, honestly. He's still not at max ATP. So I could squeeze out more endless damage. Yeah, here's an example where it's not worth red needling them, it's worth charge arming them. Or if I brand launcher, I would use it here. Is ultra dead. GG. We'll put a fire trap down, but we're not participating in this wave. Okay, I gotta remember two forces. They're not gonna go down as far. Perfect. Give a safe avenue for the forces to stand somewhere. This wave can be awkward. It depends on where the Dorfons charge. Because there's a lot of Gafoe out. I don't know where they're gonna go. They split. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's the downside to the Gafoe on that last wave, because it's like, uh I mean I can lock them down, don't get me wrong, but it's just awkward.
I'm like, broadcast is good, but he's not like opposite ends of the room good. <laughs> Rip the door pawns. Oh yeah, Galatine does like a bazillion damage for sure. Soundtrack fell asleep. We'll give the soundtrack some coffee. Wakey wakey soundtrack. I'm like, you're not done. I haven't heard my favorite song yet. Astark is ultra dead. Yeah, our role is not to crowd control. Things like wizards, but get rid of those zoos. So I could just switch into charge Vulcan. Look for a freeze trap over here. Paralyze the other group. That's a smart play. Oh, it gives the chat a ton of time. Oops. That was a combo fail on my part. Thank you, Vulcans. Here's an example where if they're this split up, I might as well just kill one of them. Like, I have to be able to identify as a player that if Gafoe is out, I can't paralyze here. I just need to go for the kill. I'm drop a happy little crack fluid for the team. I'll be their tri fluid angel. <laughs> See, I'll just be like, oops, and just leave it in the middle of the arena like that so they can decide when they want it. Running triple add up, that's good. The breeze trap here would make sense in the charge Vulcan. Oh. Oh, here we go. My favorite song. I was like, I didn't hear a gaze up at darkness. Get out of here. where I was looking there. Welcome, pun. Hope you're doing well. Managed to get to 80 with Rockcast. Congrats. Yeah, we got you most of the way there. And I think we were trying to offer another run, but then uh, I guess you stepped away at that point. We saw you AFK in the lobby later. Did the Astark. Freeze trap because I'm too deep. There we go. You, you can make positional errors. Just another way to deal with the wave. Just gotta be creative. Uh, we're definitely using a freeze trap here though. Yeah. I would say without like a lot of really strong rares, faults is just generally not reasonable to do. Your character isn't like max mag, max everything else. It feels kind of bad, even on very hard mode. It's definitely e it's definitely easier to beat falls with a human character at that level compared to a cast because you just run out of healing unless you have gush. and it's over. You teleported. Man, stop teleporting. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit him with Vulcan. I feel like the game is trolling me there. And everything in the ruins without much issue. Ruins were a bit tanky and immediately bring it to Dolores, but Paul's just wouldn't die. 
Um, did you shift a D band into the fight with Milo Eula? Trying to beat that without Milo Eula is kind of rough. Definitely not recommended to do the boss fight without it. Wait, you did all of Ruins but didn't have PB? How is that possible? We're using like charge arm or something for damage? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say that that feels self-inflicted. I'm like, wait a minute, even in TTF you should have enough PB to beat the end. I was like, wait a minute, Some, something you didn't check out there. I was like, wait, no. <laughs> you do that all the time. You always build a PB by a uh, ball, usually. Uh, actually, I don't need that. Changed my mind. Yeah, I mean, as I said before, my advice is to probably not back and sell if you're doing a TTF ever. Uh, you generally shouldn't sell more than once in a quest, unless... I guess it just depends on where you are in terms of money. Damn, check out that super quick. I, I don't even like to sell during my quests at all, unless I'm at the end of the quest. Early on, it makes some sense to do, like when you're in the very beginning, you're like scrounging for money. But honestly, like... A lot of scenarios where you might be using charge arm, there's usually you could just get away with rare shotguns below ultimate. Shut these enemies down. Oops, I was out of range of Vulcan. My bad. Photon drop. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, like, like on average, like when you back, do you have a tracker for how much Meseta you use? I'm just really curious how much Meseta you're using in very hard mode solo. Like, definitely Raw Cast is not a good solo class, especially early on. Later on, it gets a little better. But, uh, yeah, that's a lot if you're using nothing but charge. These. Like seventy thousand. Oh, are you using like charge arm on worm or something over partisan? I'm just trying to figure out where the money loss is because I'm like, there's not a lot of enemies you have to kill in CTF. I don't think you should be using charge arm on dragon. I would kind of hope not. I mean, you could, technically. Just thinking it through. I guess if you don't have good Vulcans. Uh, yeah, Rockhouse is kind of in a weird spot. Maybe he does need it. Yeah, Guilty Light's a great example. Guilty Light was like the hard carry for me on some of those fights. Yeah, because Guilty Light pierces for three hits. Though so it's still multi-hits dragon. Yeah, Charge Arm is not great on the roll A. That, that's more what I'm getting at. It, it's a pretty bad use. I don't think there's a lot of options pre-ultimate to help with that, sadly. Although, actually, honestly... Guilty Light when it's jumping over you is also good. I like squeezing out damage early on. I'm thinking about like the pre-ultimate strats. I'm pretty sure I just use Guilty Light on nearly everything. That was that was the solution. I don't even think I bothered with like Charge Arm for the most part. I think I just shot it from its head forward and then attacked its tail on occasion. Well, it's more that Charge Arm is really, 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 really slow. So you, you're not getting as many hits in as you think you would, compared to other weapons. 
So, like, things like Partisan will attack so much faster than Shotgun and have pretty comparable damage. Or some characters just focus on popping the head of the creature, so that way they're able to, uh... Oops, that's the Freeze Draft. That way they're able to uh, just focus on one portion. So they'll get, like, a high damage single target weapon. That That's more, like... Like, forces will do that sometimes on low difficulties. They'll actually focus the head. Like, literally on normal mode, you'll end up foeing the head instead of using rough foe and things like that. If you had, like, extremely good single target, you might do that. Yeah, otherwise charge arm is kind of slow, and they tend to hit you out of it. Which also sucks. Otherwise, the other question I had for you, what were you using to defeat Vault Op? Charge Arm makes sense on Vault Op Form 2, but what are you using on Form 1? Like, I, I don't think I, if you're using Charge Arm on Form 2 or Discus, I'm like, you're good. Yeah, there's, there's not much more you can really change there. Yeah, I think I just end up using Guilty Light, just because it pierces early. It ends up being more damage than Charge Arm, unless I can literally always land the Sacrifice. Oh, that's not good to do. Are you are you aware of how uh, Vault Op works? You actually don't want to pop all the monitors. Let's drop one of these. Okay, because because if you're aware, you don't use Charge Armor Monitor. That's what I'm saying. It, it cares about the ATP of the weapon you're holding, and you actually don't want to destroy the monitor, if at all possible. So you usually whip out a pistol for that boss. That's why I state that. Spread Needle makes sense for, like, stun lock on ultimate, but you don't have Spread Needle. You, you do not want to kill the monitors. It makes it take longer. Basically, you want the boss to vibrate more often, and if you destroy more monitors, that's less to vibrate. You could technically destroy everything. That's really slow, even in lower difficulties. It's like crazy slow. So people will end up just getting a really strong gun. The only one I could think of like early on, pre-ultimate, would be like a barista. But technically, you could guilty light the monitor. You just want something with, like, raw ATP, especially if it is machine percentage. If it's raw ATP machine percentage, it doesn't even need hit, so it's honestly not even that hard to get him very hard. Um, you'll end up doing a lot more damage the, the first phase. Because it checks your weapon ATP and your character ATP. But weirdly, it also does that if you have techniques. So if you hit it with Gazond, it uses your actual ATP to fight the boss. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. But that makes a big difference in clears. So if you've been using your special to pop the monitors, that also will save you some money. You don't need to do that. I'm gonna hit it a couple more times here. Got knocked down. Annoying. I might dolphin here. It should kill it. It did like 1400 last time, and it's not doing anything weird this time. I also backed up slightly, just in case. Yeah, there we go. Had enough of your BS. Unfortunately, my evasion is terrible, so my damage is gonna not be that great. Yeah, I think I think Guilty Light just ends up being the boss MVP weapon. I used it, I think I'll Dragon over Charge Arm. Because again, without like Heavenly Battle, Charge Arm has like really big delays. And the point of like the higher ATP you are, the better Charge Arm is. But when you're at low ATP, like your sub 900, in like before weapon, um, usually I just go for Guilty Light because it just has better stats. Technically, if you're able to pick up something like Red Scorpio, it does a little bit more damage, but it's like not required. If you really just want to squeeze out the very hard mode damage, you should be able to pick that up there. 
but Guilty Light is just much easier to get because you typically get it, it guaranteed in a boss in, for all IDs. For Red Scorpio is a bit more optional, I guess I would say. I see a DBM 30 in here somewhere. It's definitely going to be interesting doing challenge mode to remember the pre-ultimate strats to how to deal with some of these bosses. I don't necessarily look forward to it. Oh, we just hit the end of even beat, like, on the dot. It's kind of funny. I was going to say, Chris, is there a different character you wanted to play? As long as you let us know the ID, we'll, we'll play accordingly. Yeah, it was like almost literally 700 on the dot. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I would definitely write... Yeah, Guilty Light, I think, is the, the call. Charge Arm is really great eventually, but it takes a little while to build up to its damage. So I think one thing you could do is like a personal test, since, again, it really depends on how evolved your mags are, where you are with ATP, if you have access to powers and things like that. Definitely compare on, like, Worm Boss... How fast it goes with just char or charge arms, and then how quick it goes with uh, Guilty Light. Because, again, it, there's there's some magic number where Guilty Light will stop being better than charge arm. But yeah, it's kind of sick. 145 power mag, that's pretty solid. I'm assuming the rest is ATA. Oh, one, five defense, of course. Because I'm also assuming you don't, you're not at 150 power material. So that that's where the, the trade-off is. That if you had 150 power material, for example, that I would be like, hmm, maybe charge arm would be faster. Because that's also a significant power level. Yeah. Because I mean, you have to think of it this way: if the, if the mag is adding nearly 290 ATP, you can add basically the same amount to your damage on top of that. So that'll make Charge Arm pull ahead. Feeling Hugh New World, Hugh Casil, or Hugh Cast? Well, let us know. Pick an ID, and we'll play accordingly. We could grant them XP as needed. You have two forces and potentially a cast to destroy whatever you want. Or Raw Marl, because sometimes a Verimeter does switch it off a force. It really just depends on what you pick. So yeah, it's kind of one of those interesting breakpoints. Let me double check where Red Scorpio drops. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it's in very hard mode, but it's only episode 4. Yeah, that's not realistic. I remembered it was in very hard mode, but I was like, eh, whatever. Yeah, Guilty Light you get, like, so early. I love that everybody gets it basically on Bolt Up and Dragon. But I'd rather White or Viridia. I don't think it matters. Yeah, well, I mean, if it's White ID, it's definitely not episode four. And honestly, Verity is probably also not episode four. I would guess it would probably be Boss Rush of some sort, depending on the ID. White ID, Terrell's Ego is not bad. Viridia, Hugh New Roll. Hmm. Contemplating. Let us do... One second, chat is to decide something. I mean, we'll eventually do TTF, don't get me wrong. I'm just thinking if there's a different quest I want to do first. I haven't given her much love lately. I mean, technically, we could try to do a hunt for uh, V101. Technically. Yeah, let's let's do some episode one with the intent we'll probably go to the falls. So if you make the game, Chris, we'll we'll go through. Sure, we we could give another quest some love, so that way we could focus on drops. The boss visa kicks in. 
to. We'll, we'll probably be doing that. Because there's a lot of Crimson Assassins in uh, Maximum Attack 1C. So we could just take it all the way to Falls. Have I tried Exert at Solid Umbridia? You know what? That's a good point. Exert might be a another good one to try. We, we could do both. Because you're talking about random attack Exert, right? Yeah, I mean, Viridia's probably good enough. The, the, funny enough, the forest is its worst one, for sure, but I think everywhere else is fine. Although, actually, to be... Actually, I take that back. Their mines is now terrible, because they lost V101. Their caves and ruins are fine, but everything else is a little suspect. Alright, let's join in. Oops, I incorrect passworded myself. Alright, so let's do some episode one. I'll bring in damage. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is all the garbage he's holding? I have no idea. Only you can answer that. Route is easy to tell early in the run. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I do think Random Attack Exerd is a good call. I think I forgot about that quest on the quest list. I do like it. I remember we had a video talking about doing more of those. Oh, actually, you know what? That's true. I forgot Random Attack Exert doesn't have Forest. Oh. That is actually very interesting. Huh. I need to consider what people are good here. Maybe I will add this under Viridian. That is a good call, Draken. We had talked about before, I do think that some of the random attacks are underappreciated. It's been so long since I played it, I forgot there was no forest. Because before I was like, oh, you know, I'll just do yellow ID, because yellow ID is generically good everywhere. But I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, actually, you're kind of right. I think I do like Viridian. Because caves and ruins are good. Their mines is kind of a whiff. But everything else at least we'll have Grass Assassins. If we get Spaceship, it's amazing. Yeah, if we if we manage to get Spaceship, it's the jackpot. Mines is the reset for sure, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's, let's try it. It should be under... Maximum Attack. I'm trying to think if anybody else would benefit from this, where they have a bad forest, but everything else is good. Does that apply to Red ID, too? Because Red ID Ruins is good. Their Mines is also good because of Gilchick. Yeah, it'll be Random Attack Exerd. Their Caves are decent because they could get Lava's Cannon. I guess it's not, like, the strongest ever. I guess it's more if they have a good Grass Assassin, so maybe White ID would make more sense there. Plus that's like really crazy. Oh, I mean, other than Yellow ID. Yellow ID gets everything. Honestly, like other than getting Falls, that's pretty good. Uh, It should just be Random Attack Exert Stage. I don't think it's Rev 1, but chat can correct me. Yeah, we don't want to do Rev 1 because that one ha that one has Forest. But I think Exert Stage by itself is fun. I think that's I think that's what I was misremembering. I thought both of them had Forest, but if they don't both have Forest, then it makes sense. Oh, we started with caves, perfect. Let's try to get some V101s for some people. With a small chance of potentially ending up with crazy stuff. There's a lot of enemies. gun I thought I just pulled out, but you know what? We'll, we'll make do. We, we're like, mistakes were made, but I could, I could work with this. I meant to do charge on. 
There we go. I'm to get out of here. Yeah, I am so sad that, like, the Guilty Light line of weapons are so weak. Like, Red Scorpio should have easily been, like, another hundred or so extra. Thank you for the anniversary. Uh, wishes Dutch. Hopefully you're doing well. Only a 55% on your first attack. What are you wearing? Oh, wait, you're Hugh New Roll. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. You don't have to tell me what you're wearing. The answer is oops. I was going to say, what is your mag? Do you not... You do have a mag. Oh, you don't have a mag. Or you don't have a mag. Wait, I'm confused. I looked at the wrong Huna rule. But are you not using a mag? That's him going to throw me off for a bit. Oof. Just, just woke up and made some coffee. Nice. That is a lot of lilies. I don't know if I like that. I was gonna say, Drew was here earlier just talking about coffee. Trying to figure out what to get for an espresso maker. Hard garden, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this room's a little crude. Not hard, but it is annoying. Pull a couple of these bad boys. They're definitely too far for me to crowd control all of them, sadly. If you want to talk about anything, I'm just going to say the chat is open. We were just discussing some other thing. This path is mine. It's good to know. So, so what are we looking for specifically? Since I, I don't play this quest like every day. I know eventually we would like to get to Spaceship, as an example. Since Spaceship looks like stupid broken for them. Oh, Halloween cookie. Nice. Rewarded. Usually go for ruins. Thing. Sure, we could potentially do that. Got a nice all-in-one espresso maker. Interesting. So I'm guessing based off the path split, it tells you which one it's doing, because I saw there was a two-way, and we picked one of the doors. I would definitely agree, Mines is kind of bad on uh, Viridian. Okay. See, I'm learning. Today we learn. Character's equipment is random junk. Yeah, we gotta get you some better items. Yeah, we could reset it. I don't mind more V101 chances. Might as well as play something with decent amount of enemy counts. That is a hilarious one. Let's try to kill some of the lilies. Well, most of them, yeah, all the ones on my side are dead. Do, do, do. Let's see. Defense material. Like the wild west of enemy spawns out here. I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully I can quick shoot all the lilies before they shoot me. That's all I'm looking for. It's gonna paralyze them for the group. That'll make it easy. Yeah, Spaceship is definitely the mother load. I think this quest is worth talking about in terms of rotation, because it has potential for all bosses. So, you know, potentially with forests not being in consideration, a lot of the better IDs have really strong forests. Like, white ID is definitely extremely strong in forest. Purple's really strong in forest. But... They might not be the best in some of the other areas. Okay, so we found the warp. Let's just go back then. <laughs> yeah, no. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't want to give away my 45 hit Diska, but I could give away a Jaya if Chris really is nothing else, because I don't need like a ton of Jayas. him this 13 for later. Hmm. Alright, let's give Chris some items. I'll at least give him a Jaya to swing if he wants and a 13. He has the other spare Disca. I think one of my other characters might have low level Discas. Oh, I saw 50 hit laser, but I didn't have anything. So sad. Yeah, see, that's got a little bit of hit percentage. So it's definitely better than nothing. Ooh, a 50 hit caliber. Nice. Oh, it even has charge. Nice. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> you knew Earl needs all the help she could get. Listen, she can't hit anything in front of her. I was supposed to put on the blindfold. She's not doing anything. Oh, this character has their own daylight scar? That's funny. I forgot about that. And I also apparently had a spare heavenly power. I don't know if Chris needs it or not. Did it pick up? I forgot this character had one. Yeah, let's slash lobby. We'll wait for Chris to make another one. Oops. I could type today, I swear. I feel like we're near the end of the soundtrack. Oh, we're literally on the last song. Well, that, that's a good feeling then, chat. 10 out of 10. I felt it in my heart there wasn't much left in the soundtrack. Oh, I actually just found the Lol of Uzeki, which was before this game. Well, oh, that that took that that took that took a deep dive in terms of PS2 soundtracks. We're gonna close Castlevania. Let's listen. To, I've never heard the soundtrack before. I'm kind of curious what it is. So that's the TV opening, so I'm gonna skip ahead because that's probably copyrighted. Otherwise, we'll listen to this. Give Chris a minute or so. A collapse dead. Hmm. Wondering if this character is really needed or if I can level a different ranger. I'll stick with this character for now, I guess. I'll have to think about who I want to use next. I could just leave the stupid auto chat. There we go. Game, please leave the auto chat. I hate that so much. There we go. I can tell when I'm using a good controller and it starts wazzing me. <laughs> no, I just want to move. Pray for ruins, yeah.
I could use somebody with decent accuracy. Is it worth leveling my other realm Marl? Maybe. Thinking about it. Yeah, if you're not using like legit triple heavenly arms out of on, the, on that character or like triple heavenly arms uh, heavenly battle, you're pretty much never gonna hit with Uniroll. Her accuracy growth is atrocious. They they committed some war crimes with those stats, chat. It makes no sense. So she's basically Humar with like 40 less ATA, but also worse stats. Like, actually phenomenal how bad she is while leveling. Yeah, to put it in context, she basically- Oh, nice cookie. She basically has, uh... Ooh, Crimson Assassin's here, nice. She essentially only has force level ATA as a hunter for uh, her entire progression to 80. You cast... Starting to see why I left her unloved. Yeah, she's the struggle. As I said before, it felt it felt it took so long and it felt like it took so much just for her to become average. Confused trap here, OP, I can see it. Fortunately we have enough damage that they should just kind of explode. But single player, it's good to point that out. So triple grass assassin equals this route, which is nice. say this soundtrack took forever to find chat i did look it up by the japanese title and that was the only way i could find this ost not exist in english and then the funny thing is that for the thing that was talking about all the different songs that exist for the composer they didn't even have the game name it's kind of brutal direct war straight to ruins three okay Chance of Swordsman lore. But there's an I didn't check the Dell Saber account, but if there's some here, it could be fun. You know what's also fun? Down that entire way to get out of here. Oh, I can see cats having a lot of fun here. Yeah, I get to basically just say no to them like this. Alright, so definitely looks like there are a million things to fight here, which is a good sign. I like quests that let you kill millions of enemies. If we go straight into falls, it's fine. Still seems like it'd be. Maybe I'll just stick to raw cast, honestly. Because before I was like, ah, oh, I could probably play Hunter. And now I'm like, ah, oh, I kind of want Charge Arm. <laughs> before I was like, ah, oh, I could do whatever. So I'm not seeing a lot of Del Saber so far. There's a lot of other enemy types. I'm gonna let all the hunters worry about single target damage. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, the music's picking up. The music's getting excited to see what's in the next room of ruins. I cleared basically all of them just then, so that's kinda nice. Oh, I actually got the paralysis off? Wow. I don't expect that to be honest. Get out of here, leader unit.
Honestly, playing this quest, is this also yellow ID heaven? The only thing I don't want is fall. I mean, if I fight fall, it's not the end of the world, but like, everything else in this quest, it has like a million bringers. Apparently a million cookies. Yeah. Like, yellow ID wants to see bulk claws. There's an okay amount. But it has a lot of spread needle chances here. But maybe red ID is really good here, if you can manipulate it. Although we didn't really fight any slimes. Their cave is kind of bad. Everything else looks like it's on point. Rip Chris's character. There we go. I reached him eventually. We're going to put down another freeze trap. I had enough of this room. Like def I have the I have it at like 50% volume. Why was that so loud? Holy. Yeah, that's a little better. Last room before we know it's spaceship for falls. Good to know. I mean we are in the classic falls room. <laughs> I was like that it was so loud. I like jumped in my chair. Paralyze as much as I could here. I did my job, chat. Listen. Paralysis came out. Freeze came out. Can't do anymore. Shut down more waves. Get my charge arm back out. Oh, this... Oh, this would be like yellow ID heaven right now. Holy. Whole room is like... Oh... All your values here. Even at bowl calls, like come on. That's exactly what Yellow Eddie wants to see. Please get off of me. Poor Chris. Nobody's reviving him. I'm trying, Chris. The monsters are between me and everything else. Okay, there we go. Easy solid. Chris. I'm assuming this is falls. Yeah, it looks like falls. Okay, I don't need XP. There's a healing ring to the north. Well, I mean, if there's nothing at the end, I don't really need it. Uh, I'm fine. I, I have five freeze traps, so I shouldn't need any. Well, is this new world is going to be miserable? Um, I think you'll still get knocked down. You're below 900 health. Yeah, I, I think you'll be fine. Just do your best to shoot pistol. I'll, I'll deal with the damage on this boss. Is that a monolith? I'm, I'm here. I'm here to delete the boss. I'll put it that way. As long as chat makes sure I don't get mauled, we should be good. It's interesting we can force this to be a falls run. I can see why we wouldn't want to consistently do it for falls, just because of the RNG nature. You'd have to check to a certain room, etc. But in terms of it being just a nice to have, it would lean it more towards the propensity since you can manipulate it. Oops. Since you can manipulate it, whether or not to take um it's like red ID, Viridian's still pretty solid. Just sadly, Red ID doesn't get anything crazy for Grass Assassin. If it did, because there's a lot of Grass Assassins, it's amazing. So there's a decent number of Sorcerers. It is also Spread Needle Chance on Ruins, so maybe it's actually still worth doing. It's just a shame that their Caves is so dead. Because normally, normally Red ID Caves is solid, but if there's no Slime, that's kind of their big drop in the way that we were running it. I just switch weapons, my bad. Oh, somebody mag blasted. What? 
No. Oh, who mag blasted? This is so awkward. What? No. Okay, I was gonna say who broke the boss. Holy, that was so glitchy. I have never seen that before. That gave me a scare. I was like, I have never seen that happen on that phase before. Holy. Elite player jump scare. <laughs> like, where's the boss? I spun in a circle. Like, the boss didn't load for me. Holy. The jump scare is real. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? I almost killed it. I'm gonna switch to Heaven Striker preemptively. Oh, nobody revive Chris again. Rip Chris. Rest in peace, Chris. Welcome, Nate. Will you feel better as the day goes on? I'm gonna go for damage here. Far. That was player fail. I didn't step far enough to forward. Let's try this. There we go, there's my damage. Okay, we chipped it pretty well. Oh, if, oh sure, if it wants a long cycle, I'm gonna, I'll take it. I'll be like, listen. Goodbye, balls. This would be a very goofy way to get Red Ring. <laughs> you break falls using Photon Blast. Make the boss not load into Red Ring. True combo. Oh, he's spamming Ashley wasn't too bad. Yeah, you got some options in the final phase. Yeah, there's no there's no way you're hitting with Vulcan. I refuse to believe as your character. Looks like a blue warp. No red ring rip, yeah. Let's see what Terrell has to say. Please enjoy your reward. There we go. Reward has been enjoyed. So I'm looking over that quest. Where, where would it make sense to use this? They have... We could skip mines, because mines is okay. Yeah, if we could go caves to ruins every time, it would be the best for this. There are 12 Chaos Bringers. There's actually 14 Bull Claws. There's actually more Bull Claws than Chaos Bringers, which is funny taking a look at the drop charts. A Sacred Claw from Bull Claw is okay. Death Bringer, Bringer's Right Arm is a little lame. Yeah, I don't think there was a single Del Saber in there, which does kind of suck. That is kind of the big appeal of Viridian. So, I don't think Viridian's the best quest. I mean, we can still do it, don't get me wrong. You get B101 chances, but I'm just curious if there's a slightly different ID that would also still benefit from Grass Assassin. It's more of a hypothetical. This V101 from Grass Assassin is really good. Technically, I guess main ID could be. They have a worse cave. White ID would also potentially work, but then the ruins is kind of booty. <laughs> Unless you just want to get the sorcerer from what ID, then I guess it's not as bad. Yeah, might might be the best value now that Grass Assassin is there. I was trying to see if there's a Shuren ID. Because getting Shuren and then moving onwards is not too bad. Like, green ID ruins is actually not terrible. So if we wanted to do a Shuren run, maybe I would do this for Shuren going forward. Right, because you'd, you'd get the Shuren from Grass Assassin, then you would go to Ruins. There's a lot of Sorcerers, so you get Psycho Wand. We only miss out on a Judo 1975. Chaos Bringers are Monkey King Bar, which I would want over Bringers Right Arm. Indie Belra is Heavenly Arms. 
Spread Needle from Merlin. Maybe this is actually a good green ID quest. Sure, and I actually read this down. One one form. Green would be general value into ruins. Yeah, because the problem is Sky ID doesn't really benefit from the high grass assassins. You don't get Swordsman lore, which is their best drop in ruins. There's, there's like some Delties, but like not enough to like justify doing the run. Like 28 is solid, but like you, you'll play anything else for that. Because unfortunately, Sky Caves is also kind of, kind of eh, unless you really need a Zange. Or you're going for Heart of Flamberg or something weird. Yeah, I mean, they get an okay amount of Psycho 1 ch chances. I think Green ID might actually just be the best. I mean, V101 is worth a lot, don't get me wrong, but I think if you can manipulate it, which you can, to make it go to Ruins, I think Shuren is just better than, like, Red Dagger Songe from uh, Skylight. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yellow into mines is actually not bad. Yellow is actually also good into ruins, honestly. Yellow ID is kind of bonkers. We'll let Chris uh, host again. But yeah, yellow ID is just like super, super bonkers. Like, there, there's a reason we run Endless Episode 1, because I mean, like, think about it this way. If Grass Assassin is your drop, it, Heaven Punisher is on Grass Assassin, which is good if you're going to hunt it. We saw a decent amount of Pan Arms, which is a heart of item from there. There's a good amount of Melk Weeks, which is Red Sword. Um, if, it, if there's Rare Lily, you get Songe. So they have like really good caves start to finish, even without boss drop. Obviously in Mines, they have V101 and Excal, so Mines is good for them. Ruins, there's uh, a lot of Dark Gunners, so they get Guardiana. There's Bringers, so they get Bringers Red Arm, which is okay. Indie Bell, where they get Heavenly Arm. There are a good amount of Bulk Claws. There's actually more of that than uh, Chaos Bringers. So they also get Psycho Wand. And there's a lot of Merlins. There's more, I think, Merlins than the other enemy types there. Actually, no, that's not true. Well, it's still pretty good. 25 is higher than the uh, Bell Recount. So they still, from the highest enemy count totals, they're missing, like, maybe one drop. But honestly, it's pretty crazy all the way through. Unfortunately, you would get potentially false as Rico Zeroing, which kind of sucks. But... I think otherwise, if you're just not doing bosses, it's kind of insane. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to list this quest down, because Quarus is also really good for them, too. Like, as I said before, I think Yellow ID is slept on. I don't hear people normally talk about Yellow ID when they talk about good IDs. And most of the time, it's just because it doesn't have Red Ring. But if you remove Red Ring from the equation, I think it's the best episode one ID. To be honest, PC Crash, we'll give the parameter some time. Like, don't get me wrong, White ID Forest, super superior to everything else. White ID on everything else, kind of bad. I feel like it, White ID on everything else is kind of bad, especially compared to Yellow ID. Yeah, they they did nerf Yellow ID recently so that they don't have Sinnoh Blue Excal because that was just actual insanity. They were just hands down the best. Because <laughs> you have to think about it this way. When you play Endless, you get some Forest. You get all of their drops other than Frozen Shooter. And they have probably the second or third best Forest uh, under White and maybe arguably under Purple into uh, Caves, which I think they're number one, if not number two. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Their Mines is number one, if not number two. Their Ruins, unless you're going for Uber Hunts, is probably number one, if not number two, which is kind of funny. Unless you include bosses, then obviously, you know, then the weighting shifts a bit more, and then they're like third or fourth. But that's still pretty good overall. solid value. Yeah, Endless is super fun. I love running Yellow ID Endless. This is the character I use for it, because I, I don't mess around. <laughs> Just like, 
All this character does is host it and murder everything. So potentially after we do one more run of this, I could try to host and see if Chris is able to join, because I know he's been having connection issues. If he's able to join, we'll just do some runs. If he crashes, we'll just uh, let him host whatever he can. I'll fall over dead in the meantime. Do some swords. I'll do angry stumps as I wait. Yeah, that, that did look at least like you could manipulate it, or at least to the point where you know to reset. So if you're doing a lot of caves resets... Yellow is still not bad for that, because you're it, that's a lot of Heaven Punisher chances. So it's pretty much- and, and then even then, would you bother resetting? <laughs> I think he would just take it at that point. When will, if any, allow every character to do dramatic femoral fall animation? This is way more important than anything else. Oh. I don't think I've witnessed her fall over animation recently. It's been a while. I like we put our hands up when we die. <laughs> I do love the cartwheel from the human roll. I remember that. The cartwheel, uh, or the backflip, I mean. <laughs> so ridiculous. I think otherwise from the standpoint of quests, I mean, it's good to bring that up again. I'll have to reanalyze it. I still think for just random quest, random boss, yellow ID is probably the best ID. Because there's just kind of super dead ID, sadly. Or super dead areas for white ID. Like, white ID definitely has, like, the most value hunts. If you're allowed to pick the area, but ooh, for random, mm. yellow all day. All day, every day. So we'll do the same quest again. We don't have to do 1C. 1C is like, okay. I mostly just do it to go to falls, but yeah, we'll, we'll do the same quest again. The downside with 1C is that mines just kind of takes too long. I just, I personally don't like it. I was thinking to mix it up, but I'd rather just do Exert then. Since it's a quest we almost never run. I think when we d used to do it, we did uh, Rev 1, which is fun, but it's not like very hunt focused. Whereas this one I could actually genuinely see for being a reset. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Truth. So we'll go until we at least see falls again, and then we'll uh, we'll see if I can potentially host, and then we'll just let the dice roll, as it were. Yeah, I went from thinking yellow ID was like not that fun because I just didn't know what to run with it, to then just like finding these other quests by just going through the list while bored one day, and I was like, wait. I don't see people recommend these, but they're actually just really good. I only see people spam TTF, etc. Do I need to fix my, uh, and grow a bit more? Nice. Yeah, as I said before, Yellow ID does not care where it goes, like, whatsoever. It's like, okay. Just for you, I'll confuse Trap the Room. Sadly, though, everybody split up. Murder these real quick. I will say the on-stream luck has been much better than off-stream luck. 
Like, we're, I'm seeing people actually get cookies at a reasonable rate. <laughs> where it's like, I play off stream. It is like the dry, it, it might as well be a desert. It's so dry. No items drop, no PDs. Just disappointment. gonna say the only thing that drops every runner are my expectations of ever finding a rare <laughs> just goes, it goes to zero over time i'll pick up a trifle for the group for later so yeah, if you could get if you could get to like 150 with hue to roll she starts feeling like a like a real character but it it takes a long time because her early ata growth is just so bad by then, at least you can even out some of the, the terribleness of her growth. So many things blocking. Out of here, sorcerer. can happen. Interesting. Speaking of Sacred Claw. I was gonna say, on my screen, chat's being bullied by ghosts. There's nothing on my screen, but damage is being taken. Damn, Charge Arm is so good here. I feel like this alone justifies having a raw cast. I'm so sorry, Chris. He's getting hard bullied. Yeah, the Indie Pillars are hard to survive while also being bullied. Got to free Chris from his chamber. There we go. Auto Grinder. Door. Interesting. Oh, why did I get hit? It's annoying. Well, that stopped me from getting the shots in that I needed. We're gonna slowly kill the Dark Gunners. Thank you, Frozen Shooter. Make our life a little more tolerable and stop getting sniped by Indivara. We, I was gonna say, we put in the work on that room. I don't care what anybody says. That was a charge arm freeze, for sure. Get him out of here. Yeah, I might, I might just generically put this under yellow ID value hunts. Why did that not kill the Andy Bora? Oh, he didn't get the Lord. That's why. Never mind. Mystery solved. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I was like, how did he take three charge arm shots? It's insane. Okay, we're gonna tell him to we're tell him to chill out in a second. Only want that mono grinder. Yeah, getting spaceship here would be huge. Hopefully we end up getting it. I know this room is just hard hell, so I'm just gonna put some freeze traps down. There's so many bad targets here.
I, I think that was good. I think I charge on my way through that entire group. Traps OP chat. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this with like... Can you imagine if we were playing multiplayer with four forces, how dead we would be? On a scale of one to dead, we would be uber dead. Like, we, we're just not surviving. Will they stop hitting me so I could combo? This is so annoying. Okay, fine. I'll kill you with Heaven Strike. Are you happy? Jerks. You know what? Take the Berserk shot. I'm tired of you. Ooh, Path North. We got spaceship, nice. Then I'm definitely restoring health here. Hopefully we end up getting a B101. We'll see though. Like the little spinner on top of the warp. It's neat. Alright, so wait a little bit. I know people are loading in. Apparently it's gonna be oops all grass assassins. Look at the look at the V101 chances here, Jeff. We're basically staring at like cannon rouge odds at this point. So many grass assassins. Oh, there's still sabers here, nice. Yeah, I didn't check the spaceship drops. That do that does bring up the value of Viridian a lot more. Sadly, Hilda Bear doesn't. Viridian, Viridian doesn't benefit from episode one, Hilda Bear. He'll get Jack from episode one. Reminder, they only get it in episode two. This does not count as episode two for those that are curious. Whenever, whenever you start at episode one, the rule of thumb is it's episode one drops. Well, that's a lot of Del Sabers. Oh, Halloween cookie, I'll take that. So I say, on plus line, Chris will get a little thank you over time. Thank you for the happy affiliate wishes. Hope you're doing well. So many enemies. Yes, this the space the spaceship payout for this area is insane. Like, look how many enemies are here. This is the kind of enemy density that I would, like, dream of, like, honestly. Where you're just, like, nothing but value everywhere. Like, absolutely. Uh, so we're gonna get some Swordsman lore chances. I mean, look at the V1. Every single one of those is a V101 chance. Please give it to us. There's so many. There's 50-something, I think, in the spaceship I saw. There's a lot of chances. We didn't get that, but I did get a cookie. Honestly, I'm kind of okay with just running this quest again. I, I'm so, I, this payoff room is kind of insane for Viridia. Not a single rare in the whole room. Damn, that sucks. Temple is extra stage if we go there. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know the inner workings of it, because obviously one custom quest, but two, don't run it. It's okay, I've done this special stage like ten times. Where is the value? Get the power materials. We fight from boss now. Which is actually Okay, okay, if that's guaranteed worm boss at the end, that's actually super bonkers. Because that means we get uh, L and K. Oh yeah, so no matter what it's value, that's actually huge. I'm ready to mess up this worm boss. Oh 
I'm sure Crystal will enjoy Worm Boss Over Falls. <laughs> yeah, let's run this quest a couple more times. We, we've, we've done Endless earlier. I would consider Endless Episode 2, but seeing the value of just that room alone, I'm kind of like, oh. What a nice. Also, I realize I don't have Excalibur on me. My bad. I'll do my best. Cat's got my back. Also, do some damage at least. This is where I just need like a 60 or 70% AP Cannon Rouge. That way I could just autopilot to the end. No LNK, sadly. Away the sacred claw. You get a free material if you if you mean free material. Oh, from like the NPCs. I said before, I think I only I think I haven't done this since like 2022. Chat can check the VOD. Maybe it was even 2021. I'm pretty sure we did not play it ever this year. I don't recall ever playing it last year. We played Xer 2 for sure. You found random material. I don't know what it is because I carry all my materials. It could be luck material, who knows? That's interesting. Extra value. Unfortunately, that quest does drain my money pretty quickly. This is just how many times I charge arm, but it is kind of worth it. I managed to level Chris at least twice. Happy Philly Anniversary, extra value TM, yeah, pretty much. It also be TP material, interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, that final room was bonkers. I don't know if you saw it, Dango. That final room was... Hmm. That was definitely Viridian Heaven, <laughs> for the most part. If they replaced Hilda Bears with, uh... More Del Sabers. Would have been the best. Yeah, that was... Yeah, Django, I think it was 50... Let me get the exact count of the number of Brass Assassins. Remembering that Viridian gets V101 based off of that. There were 52 Grass Assassins and 13 Del Sabers. They get Swordsman Lore. That is a lot of potential value. How did I miss the Charge Arm Shot? Him, please. Yeah, I was like, whoa. And now that I know what to look for, I'd definitely be more willing to run it. Because, I mean, obviously, like, I'd find out over time. But as I said before, I, I really don't feel like I played this quest since maybe early 2022 or, like, end of 2021. It has been a long time. We did rev one more recently. I want to say we did that one last year, but we never did regular Xler. No, it's not a new quest. This was actually one of the original random attacks, from what I recall. Because x Rev 1 was 2022, I want to say. It came out. But I could be mistaken. It has been a while. So it's been sitting there for a while. Rev 1 has Forest in the rotation. So we've done that for Yellow ID before. Because I recall doing Spaceship there. Random quest 86903. Feels like that sometimes. Like you have to step there to spawn the Crimson Assassins. Okay, let's see if we get lucky again. Go north? Yeah, north again? Nice. Oh, PD, sorry. Alright, we're going north, so we know we're gonna get at minimum ruins. Which is okay on Viridian. I mean, it, the worst that happens is right now we get a guaranteed falls. Like, okay. Right, chat? Like, oh, oh, oh no, I get red ring chance. What a shame. <laughs> right? Like, okay, well, let's keep going this way. So yeah, now that the, now that the randomness has been determined... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. Gonna say, and then the Konami man flies across the screen. Mm -hmm. 
What do I do? I know exactly. What do you do with all the red brick chances? Yeah, I was saying before, like, yellow ID would still be super good here. You would probably just not want falls, but, like, every other room would be value. And even if you get mines, you just play it out anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this might be the new secret quest to just run on yellow ID all the time, but since we're looking for V101 specifically, it makes sense to just do Viridian. Where there's just a small chance of us, or 50-50 once we get past another 50-50 of getting the ultimate payload for Viridian. It is kind of a shame there's no Del Sabers on the way here. I think that's like the only thing my complaint would be. If just one of the random paths leading there had Del Sabers. Like not every path needs it, but it would have been interesting. So nothing else, we're killing a whole bunch of enemies. And you wanted to go right. Only north. <laughs> These are your only options. It seems we keep getting this room. It's fine. Hey, like, listen. Rockcast is like, mm mm. Get out of here. It is a shame we have to wait for them to be unfrozen to die. We're wondering why the spawns sometimes take longer. All that PSO jank. You can you can blame PSO for that. So much value. Look how many Deldies that is, chat. Like, just look at that wall and realize that on a lot of IDs, those are spread needle odds. Like, it's uh, this quest is honestly kind of bonkers. I'm surprised this is not brought up more often. Uh, you probably got sniped by Indie Velro. Yeah. Oh, don't go back for gel in level 30. Yes, I do. Where is it? Can't gel in the group too many targets. Yeah. I'll pick up the gel in 30, though. Yeah, because we found out, I think, what quest did we find out? There's a target limit. Yeah, there's sadly a target limit. It might have been uh, Rescue from Magol, where we realized you just can't debuff all of them. It's not possible. I'm going to freeze a couple of these, make my life a little easier. Oops, I'm out of range. Like, slightly slid out of my distance. Here, Joe and all I think is shoe inserts. They're like, well, hold on, we gotta use Dr. Shoals. We need comfort stat. Get out of here. What? Did I just die from full health? <laughs> what? Did I get double hit? What the heck was that? I shouldn't die to anything in one hit. Oh, I got me get it? That makes more sense. I was like, what the? Get out of here. Uh, do I need this? No, I don't need the other item. I'm good. I think it, yeah. I, I think I saw like a glimpse of something. Oh, I need to get more moons. Chat's burning me out. Rip all my moons. I mean, I can't stop that, so... Ooh, what is this? This room is a little special. That was a very harsh transition between songs, but thank you. Thank you, random soundtrack. I'm getting pretty close to four. I might actually have to get some more money later. Quest is crazy expensive to do. I mean, in multiplayer, if I'm spending like 50,000, that's insane. 
Like, I know we don't have the most leveled people ever with us, but holy, it's so expensive. Can't revive Scarlet. I did get hit in the face, though. Any consolation. Will you stop taking my item? Put more free straps out. Screw this. If he wants to hit me, he can hit me at this point. Hit a couple of these targets. Let's go ahead and just try mate. Oh, what happened to Evan Striker? I thought I fast swapped to it. That sucks. I'm gonna deal with the problems, which are the Bell Rose. That way, chat can be free. Okay, chat. Chat is now. Out of the prison of Bell Runs and stupid Chaos Bringers. Well, we got it again. Wow. Well, Dango, you missed it before, but look at just count how many Del Sabers and Grass Assassins there are and realize that there are some stupid drops you could get from those monsters. Should we go east? Exactly. I'm gonna need more freeze traps. Also, goodbye, Mimisetta. I'm gonna give it a salute. It is it is definitely gone. So many materials. Look at this. I'm at 13 HP, 13 power. Like keep in mind, like when I'm done with runs, I put it down to one. So this is just pretty much what he has earned today. Minus any other times I went into the bank and put stuff away manually, because I just happened to be there. Uh, so we got through that soundtrack, so that means it's time for Etrian. But the original Etrian. Clear these enemies up real quick. I'm just gonna use Power Shot for a little bit. Wound him a little more. I need to move slightly, I think. Reasonable clear. <laughs> oh, when they get gel in, they can't really hurt me anymore. That's cute. They tried, I guess. Uh, auto aim? Are you gonna, gonna aim at the wall, not the one I was looking at? Okay, that's fine. Normally they're a little better at rotating if you're shooting something, but it was like, nah, I'm not gonna re I'm not gonna re-aim. I need to I don't need to re-aim. Danger wall, exactly. Ultimate threat elimination in progress. <laughs> like, Dango, look at the look at this look at this spawn wave, right? Like, isn't this crazy? Look how many things I have to kill here. Holy. This room is insane. I don't think I've ever been to this room when we played it though. I, I definitely would have made a comment if I had played this room before. I think I didn't know about the manipulations of stuff. There's like a lot of materials for me to pick up. I'm gonna need every little bit of money I could get here. So much value. Is the other material? There we go, we got, we got through there eventually. Yeah, there's definitely enough enemies to make it worth doing in cookie runs. Honestly, I'd almost rather just do this over TTF while the event is up. I'm definitely putting this in the rotation where we could, in theory, still end up with Red Ring. 
and it'll be like, oh no, we're gonna get an LNK chance. What a sh what a shame. <laughs> What a quest for Viridian. Yeah, because this is something that wouldn't have been like a real run before the, the latest item change. So it's good to see that there is actually now value for it being on Grass Assassin. Because I was kind of upset they got rid of Shuren. But given that you could do a quest like this on Viridian, hmm. I think this needs a special note when we go over the guide. I'm glad before we did the Viridian ID and he talks with it that we experienced this quest. Because it's definitely like, I'm going to preach the word of this quest on the guide. Honestly, kind of bonkers. So much money, too. But thank you, Dragon, for suggesting the quest. I was looking for something other than, like, raw TTF to do. put away this. I got two PDs in the quest. Let's try to put these away. Can't put any more HP materials. I have capped. So many power materials. Am I back up to like 99? I'm back up to 83? Oh no! Chat, no! No! Have I really been collecting this many? For chat context, I have four characters that have um, my items in bank number 8. All of them have stacks of 90 in both the bank and on their character. I'm going to cap again. 99. And I already had to put it on one of my other forces because I ran out of space. I genuinely, I can't keep up with the power materials. I might need to make these hue casts soon, chat, just to free up my bank space. I know, it's too many power materials. I don't know how to handle it. Let me put away some weapons, because I don't really need them in the run. Um... Put away the PB crate for another slot. I need to hold these to make sure I can pick up all the materials. I can... kind of leave this as is, technically. One less item is good enough, I guess. I need Frozen Shooter in this run. Vulcans, arguably I don't need in this run. We're rebuying our moon atomizers, for sure. I already got rid of my telepipe, so that's good. I don't need it in this quest. Souls... I don't technically this quest. I don't really get shocked. And I can't get confused by falls, so maybe... Yeah, I'll free up another slot. So if I want to start picking up some armor to sell... So now I have one of every material except for HP, so we can see what my random material gain is as Chris sets up another quest. Random material. Another one material. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Right, Chad? That's, that's fair. 10 out of 10. Very fair. It's gonna say slowly Chris gets stronger running this quest. A little bit of HP and more importantly defense and I'll get one shot. Holy, I think that's gonna be two stacks of 99 luck materials. Disgusting. I didn't I tried XR2 once. Um That's a good question. I, is this a before? A really, really long time ago I ran these quests. I know I did. I don't remember if I labeled the video with it, because that was before I really figured out what to do with it. Is there- I played Rev 2, and I think Rev 2 was okay, from what I remember. Let me move a little closer to the counter, just in case. So it was Temple, Spaceship, Jungle. Oh, it's, it's literally every area. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, when it's every area, uh, yeah, I wish it was more restricted. It's kind of unfortunate. So you could just run general value. I'm just looking at, like, total enemy counts. Like, I mean, if you get Temple, Lily is pretty good there. 
I guess you could technically do like pink ID resets or something there if you get temple. But this one's more controlled, like, right, it eliminates an area, and it's not, like, super random. Whereas, like, even if the other paths are guaranteed, there is not, like, a 50 in any given room, sadly. So I would agree, it's kind of disappointing. Looking at the list. I, I wish it did, like, if it was, like, spaceship only, and then, like, seabed, tower, or something like that. Where, like, and then you could pick and choose. Like, if it had the same number of areas it could select from, I think it would have been a bit better. With maybe jungle as, like, the additional. And tower as the optional clear. Or something insane. Yeah, I think episode 2 is probably... I could see some crazy value from, like, on the spawn in that. Hopefully they, hopefully they kind of do one where it's a bit more balanced value in every area. I miss killing him by one shot, that's so sad. Moment of truth. Are we going to get lucky again? Yeah, that was one thing I was talking about on the previous streams. I kind of wish there was... Oh, uh, bad luck. I kind of wish we did uh, have kind of a random attack area for episode 4. Because I think the reasoning they stated a while ago why they didn't want to do it is just the fact that like you go to every area anyway. But honestly... Oh, I got tagged. That sucks. But honestly, it was kind of one of those things where... Really? Getting kill looped here. This sucks. I'm not even getting a chance to attack. Let me uh, back up slightly. Don't make me bring my dress plate. I will go get it off another character if I need to. Jerks. Yeah, this room definitely sucks. I don't like this room. If they were, like, more clumped together, I'd like it, but they're so spread apart, like, I could just barely hit the things that are near me with Charge Arm. Which is crazy. If Charge Arm can't hit everything that's attacking me, eh, that's kind of bad. They're, they're too far apart. Deal with him. Hurt my Synchro, by the way. Oh, maybe I was using souls to fix Synchro. You know what? That makes sense. Yeah, it would have been kind of interesting to have Dwarfon in areas that Dwarfon is not meant to be. Or have some of the Gorons with other creature types. We'll get some Consolation Crimson Assassins. I think we'll run this quest until we get one more. Until we see falls, essentially. And then we'll we'll wrap up. I could go or or it, until an hour and like ten minutes passes, whichever happens first. Then we'll go into our final quest. <laughs> Dwarf on in tight hallways. Oh no. See that I was gonna say it's gonna be like that awful uh episode two quest in Seabed. Chat knows which one I'm talking about. The one where it's like, oops. <laughs> we're we're just gonna put a Dell beater in every hallway. Listen. Thank you, Penerval Stage 5. Like, listen. I heard you like Dell beaters, so we're just gonna put one here every single time. The only exactly, it's the only bad one in the entire quest. Like every time that appears, I'm like, damn, how unfortunate. They had like genius level implementation in one, two, and I think four in particular. And then, like, 5 was just so bad. It's, like, unplayable. I remember one of them being kind of just mediocre. It might have been, like, the tower one or whatever after that. But the seabed one was actually horrendous. Yeah. There we go. Just a slowly climb the levels, as is the parameter. We're listening to the, the results screen currently. 
You leveled up. Bye, Goldemer. Viridian has like literally nothing worth hunting in mines anymore. It's actually sad how terrible Viridian is at mines now. No boss drops, no interesting rares. I think it might be one of the worst ones in mines now. And we managed to go more cookie positive at least during the event. What is the forecast that I don't seem to be hitting? Curious. Oh, Newman forces. Yeah, that's fair. Well, maybe I'll maybe we'll do like one cookie run later. Rather than do a TTF. We need to drop rate weeks, it's not like it really matters. Went the temple special room. Yeah, we gotta go through mines, I think you mentioned. Oh, you're wondering if it's best to go that way with that. Um, I mean, as I said before, yellow ID gets value everywhere. I just have to see what was in the other one. 30 Chaos Springer. Sadly, yellow ID Chaos Springer is not any good. But they do get a total of 40 Sinnoh gold. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, Yellow ID episode one is not that great, sadly. Oops. I guess it depends on what boss... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter what boss they fight after that, because Yellow ID doesn't have any good boss drops. It could just be value at that point. Yeah, 30, 30 Chaos Springers. Hmm. That would be like if you had Red ID. Maybe that, maybe, maybe the truth is you just play Red ID into this quest. Because I'm thinking about it without resetting. Because their mines, I think, are okay from what I remember. Because they, they could get hard of items, so it's not like the worst. Their boss drop is Heavenly HP from Bolt Up, which is okay. Um, they don't really get value from Worm Boss, but they would get value from... Chaos Bringers. Don't remember if they have any crazy drops on the Sinnohs, though, offhand. I know Guild Check is hard of. That's usually what we go for. I think they only get a Jito or something. They're so close. <laughs> They're so close to perfection, chat. I mean, finding Hildebears in Temple would give them Magical Stone or Tista chances, but, you know, obviously not as good as Frozen Shooter. Oh, I was gonna say. I was gonna be- I was gonna be honest with you, if it went right door, I was gonna say we slash Lobby right now. I'm not going through that Flower Room again, I don't think so. Flower Room sucks. It knows what it did, chat. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I I don't mind clearing the Grass Assassins, just that Lily Room is so BS. Yeah. If, if that Lily Room didn't require, like, basically everybody having charge arms, I'd probably be more in favor of it. The only other thing I could think of is if chat literally walks in and resons to stun lock. And just not focus on any damage. Because if, if they're allowed to attack, it's just over. I just don't see how you recover. Because I was legitimately in a loop for like a minute and a half. Of just not being able to DPS or trap. So like, I could see ways around it. Or if you have a dress plate, it's not too bad. But I don't have a dress plate on me. So there's definitely like ways around it per se. But I just don't think the value is as high as just skipping it at this point. 
It would make sense if you had like a rare Lily drop, like if you really wanted like heavenly power or whatever. Let's our synchro a bit more. Goodbye, every enemy here. Yeah, that's why it might make more sense in the future if I want to release a quest guide to talk about, like, what IDs are best at them and slowly rate them, but that's, like, a super long-term project. But you can bet this quest suddenly went up on the list. <clears throat> because originally I was writing down, like, off-quests that I liked. And the Penumbral Surge are there, for sure. Because there's some that are, like, rbr -able. I wasn't- I was kind of going back and forth internally what would make sense for, like, how to categorize it. It's hard to give, like, a solid rating, because obviously it's just going to be a lot of personal preference. But I do think people need to know, like, the Penumbral Search quests are really, really, really good in Episode 2. I wish they popped up a little more often in the RBR. Speaking of which, what is the RBR for this week? Is it anything that I would run? Like, Dragon Heat Sword, for example, is a good one in RBR. Pop Up Operation 1. Okay, that's pretty generic. The East Tower? Ew. And the new Pop Up Operation 2? Ew. Yeah, okay, no thanks. <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be like, I think it's gonna be a hard pass for me on all three. I mean, the first one is okay, but like, it, there's much better forest quests than RBR. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, it's just nothing I would want to run. If it, if it was Dragon Heat Sword, we would do Lava's Cannon chances, for example. Like, there's at least an item I can think of offhand where we would run the quest, where you mop up is like, hmm. East Tower, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I remember not liking the tower quests. They just were not fun. Honestly, a lot of the tower quests in episode 2 are kind of unfun on many levels. Sweep Up Operation 9 was okay, but kind of demanding. I honestly think the anniversary quests were the best were the best tower quests in the game. Like, both the Omni Spawn one and also the anniversary one, I think, were just legitimately the best tower quests. And I actually had fun with those. But like the other ones, no, they 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 could die in a fire. No no quadra lily cross formation BS, please. Tired of those. It's like no, you legitimately need to four man, or this is just unwinnable. Is somebody out of position? Oh well, GG, you lose the run. I don't I don't really enjoy quests like that. Where at least like in the other quests, if you had like a force you could refoe and you could stun lock even though there's a lot of killer lilies you had the ability to basically control the wave whereas i don't feel like most of those rooms were controlled it was just rote memorization and there's like a little bit of memorization in like the anniversary quest don't get me wrong but it's not like if you don't if you don't do this the run is over where i feel like that's very true with the tower quest and some people like that, but to me, it's just, it's so artificial and difficulty because everything just one-shots you. It just gets kind of tiresome. Not really enjoyable to do in, like, random groups. Like, the quest like this, like, is fine. Right, there's a lot of enemies. I, I don't necessarily get to be in a perfect position for the waves, but we're not, like, instantly dead either. For example, I could try to interrupt the Darkbringers by knowing where they are. Give the team more of a chance against them. That way, if I at least focus a Darkbringer, life is easier. That wasn't too bad. I just picked a side there, essentially. Okay, falls time. Uh, 
Like, oh no, oh no, Dango, we're getting red ring chances. Gosh darn. <laughs> like for about another half hour, but it's pretty late here. Jelly saving me stream start later for me now. Oh, sorry about that. I'll do like one more quest after this then. We'll let Chris get his rest. Striker time. Is that a monolith? The song, it feels familiar. It probably should. I'll give you a hint you've watched the entire playthrough of this game. I remember specifically, you're, you haven't heard this version of it, might be a more accurate statement. Because uh, we very briefly listened to the non HD versions. So this originally came out on the DS, for example, and then they re released it as part of the Untold series. That should be a massive hint as to what game it is. But I'm sure we'll probably play the sequel to this game at some point. I do own it. But it'll probably go on the next year list of games that I really want to play for 2025. This is going to be probably not the first thing we're going to play, but it'll be like number two or number three. I feel like we need more games where I can insert chat as characters. That'll yeah, get invested in them. It's given Don Hacktown music, but no, it's Etrian. Oh, this is annoying. Hi, right, chat. How <laughs> Falls, can you please do a different attack? I'm just getting stupid now. Please stop. Oh my gosh, Dango, what is this RNG? What is this RNG? Do something else! Oh my gosh, what was that? Like seven? Come no! Is that what I mean by something else? Do do any other attack? Holy, you have two other attacks, I promise you. Holy... Unlucky... <laughs> it's like the five minute falls battle. What is happening? Stop it! Are we never going to see another attack? I honestly think at this rate we might not see another attack before falls dies. This is insane, actually. Oh, I died. For me. There we go. Holy, that was terrible. Like, what was that, like 15 spells? That's really unlucky. Falls owes us like four red rings. We need to get the quadra red ring after that BS. Just be like, just everybody gets one. They're like, listen, Fall, Falls was just playing around. You earned it at that point. Welcome, Promethean. I didn't die to spinners, though. I died to the spells. I just gave up. The boss literally only did spell casting. It's kind of bullshit. I didn't bother dodging after a certain point. I'm gonna embrace death. I'm gonna use Berserk here if I can. There we go. Holy, that was like 14 or 15 in a row. That was insane. It just never stops spamming fire and ice. <laughs> it's like, please stop. Holy. Yeah, it, it owes us something really good. It better at least give me a material. Non 
nonsense. Oh, it gave me a material. Okay, there we go. I can forgive the game. That's all I asked for. Okay, I'm gonna pop the boxes. Let's see if we get anything good. Leveled up. Nice. I might actually have to restock after that. Boss just never stopped using spells. It felt like that one moment where we were playing Grand Stream Saga and the boss kept kiting me over and over. Does chat remember that? Just, it was like a two minute wait as I was waiting for the boss to do anything I could do to hit it. It was like pew 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 pew. I just kept waiting for it. That's what it reminded me of there. That was so nonsense. I mean, I eventually killed Falls by attacking it three times over and over. Joy, your reward. There we go. We'll try one more quest for Chris. That'll be his last one, I think. Then after that, we'll see what we want to play. I'm all for, like, high enemy density, since it is drop rate. But, like, we're technically doing a boss quest, but it is very enemy-focused compared to, like, TTF. At least the Hunu world is getting a little tankier for Chris. I notice he's not getting one shot anymore. Well, aside from like Megan or whatever, but you know what I mean. No more Indie Belra instant massacre. If it's mine, I'll do one more. Fair, that's fair. Gotta play for the value. Yeah, so far I haven't noticed anything too crazy with you hosting in the game, despite having connection issues. Somebody better go back and clip that one falls fight, though. Where, uh, the photon blast broke the boss. That was, that was really something. <laughs> I was definitely in panic mode. I was like, what is happening? That feeling when falls doesn't spawn. Rip falls. I was gonna say, I can't say I've ever tried to cut and use a photon blast during that cutscene. Can't say that's a normal uh, occurrence. Oh, look at the dragon. It's trying to do its little twirl into the ground. Well, as a reminder, chat, we should be doing a bonus stream on Wednesday as like a final send off to the event. I'm assuming it isn't ending it like. Seven. If if the event actually legit ends on Wednesday and not Thursday, then uh yeah. No bonus stream. Get rid of that lily. Get rid of the other lily. Bye nano dragon. Alright, chat, we're now <laughs> we're now rolling the dice. Gamble. Will we get the correct door to open? Survey says, oh, correct door. Hell yeah. Oh, PD'd on the... I was gonna say PD'd on Grass Assassin's Brutal. Where's that B101 chat? I guess this would be the first ever Grass Assassin B101 if somebody gets it on stream. At least that has not ever occurred at our stream before, since that was not a thing last year. Or even really up to a few months ago. So I'm very gradually leveling with this character. I need 1.1 more mil to level. I need about three more levels to hit max ATP, maybe. It'll be fun. What quest is this? This is random attack excerpt. Draken reminded me of trying the original one, since I played Rev 1 earlier in the year, because I remember we did, uh... We went into Temple. 
And now that the item change is here, I kind of forgot that this quest didn't have forest. I was like, oh. No, well, no, no, it's not, it's not rev stage. No, 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 it's not rev stage. It's just exerd. Re rev one is a different stage. I'm going to be very clear. It should just be exerd by itself. So they, they released, like, I guess they'll call it, I guess it was like revision one, revision two in... 2022, but before those quests, there were the original excerpt. And that isn't fully random. So we know by like what doors open where it goes, as per Draken shortcutting the knowledge there. So we know exactly where we'll end up going. Oh, we haven't been this way before. We finally get to see where this door takes us. That is a lot of sorcerers. So we we're trying to talk about like what we thought the best value was. If you get the spaceship room, Viridian is probably one of the best. But unfortunately, there's not really any uh, Del Sabers in normal ruins. So we're talking about if green ID would have made more sense. If you're trying to get Shuren and everything else, if the value of getting things like Spread Needle and more uh, other rare chances would offset it. Because the worst thing that happens is you still end up with Red Ring like Viridian. We were thinking because you could potentially end up in a... If you go the Mines route, you could end up with 30 Chaos Bringers, which would also be kind of like the Red ID version of the quest. So I was thinking about like if it would make sense to go there. Because you, you would definitely be fishing for like the big payout. So boss drops don't matter as much in this quest, unless it's from falls. So we still have a chance of fighting falls here. I prefer not to fight falls, though. Another luck material. I really do average, like, one luck material every quest. It's kind of silly. Just at this point. Yeah, see, like, all these Del Ds would be, like, amazing spread needle chances for most IDs. And then, uh, green ID gets Monkey King Bar. Which arguably could offset a V101 price when you also include Spread Needle with Monkey Bar and also Heavenly Arms. Like, that's a lot of small value. So, yeah, it's definitely one of those ones I might want to sit there and analyze it a bit longer, other than, like, just on a whim. Because the, the 50 something Grass Assassins from the Spaceship Room, or 52, I think it was, is kind of bonkers. Like, that alone is, like, it, it weights it very heavily in Viridian. Like, where else are you going to get potentially over 80 V101 chances in any run, let alone in Episode 1? We're slowly getting there. You have to think about it this way. Every Dark Bringer is a spread needle. You can see we're fighting like a million of them. And Red ID also is good value from sorcerers with Ubers. They just get more potential high rolls, I would say, in some of these areas. I just wasn't sure if the mines would be worth it if you went mines into the Chaos Bringer route. Because technically, no matter what you do, at least you would get a Red Ring chance. But their uh, Grass Assassin odds are not really that exciting. Another Elf Arm++. Plus plus. You know what? I'll pick this up for a new player. Also it the randomly. Technically, I could put that on my character currently over Heavenly Arms to save me a Heavenly Arms if I wanted to. It would be technically more unit efficient, but it's what it is. I'm gonna tell them to freeze. I'm down to three freeze traps, which is kind of silly. Just because there's so many rooms I just want to delete. this to reach a warp, which presumably will take us to ruin. Falls room, maybe. Did, okay. 
Ah, there's, there's so many problem enemies in that spawn. We're gonna do this. Right, we, we did our best there. We froze the bad things. Now we're on one side, so I can take out the chargers next time. Oh, is the sorcerer behind me? I was like, wait a minute, I didn't see him anywhere. And I hear a sorcerer. I'm gonna put down a free strap here, I think. Oh, that miss was kind of brutal, I'm not gonna lie. Vulcan. I've had enough of this area. Oh. Looks like falls. Because honestly, this is a pretty quick run to even just get to falls. Like, that, that's kind of the offset, right? Like, that's not like too much terribly longer than a TTF, but you get like way more monster kills. Like, obviously less XP. Like, people looking to level, this is not the quest for you. But for people that are done with the game and they just want to kill, like, a million monsters. I mean, the fact that I used 48,000 Beseta on Charge Arm, like, that should tell you on a level 190 raw cast, like, just how many raw enemies we're killing in this quest over something like TTF. So I think Red Ring will, or Red Ring speed-wise will always be faster on TTF, but in terms of, like, it taking us like 12 minutes or so to get here, we just get so many better checks on this kind of run compared to TTF. I still remember this playing in uh, Etrian Odyssey. It felt like we're fighting in boss music on a normal encounter. Then you have the, the headbanging boars. Thank you, Zan, Zan Ryu, for uh, following. You're doing well today. You do some little dodges. I was gonna say, damn, I almost menu to Vulcans correctly there. I blame being slightly tired. Okay, if this boss does 15 spells in a row, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Just to let you know, chat. I will I will definitely complain if that happens. It could do like seven in a row and I won't complain, but if it does as many as it did last time, that was just actually insane. Super bad luck. Let's give us like one soul steal or something that we could work with. Oh, I'm out of range. I don't know why I did that. Oh no, it begins. Oh, okay. Get to play the game here. I'm gonna play aggressively here. I want this boss dead. Yeah, get out of here. Alright, that was that was pretty good luck. Get out of here, it falls. I'm willing to berserk if it means we don't have to go through spells. That's how I view it. Those spells is such a waste of time. I made in case it targets me. I'll hover Vulcans, but I'm probably just gonna abuse Heaven Striker here. Oof. On the opposite side of me, that sucks. Might be able to hit it with a berserk here. Well, it was pretty fast falls. We have two people in the sub 140 range. We have a force. And then I'm going pew pew. Heaven Striker says no. Come on, give, give a red rank for Chris before he goes. You can do it, falls. I believe in you. If, you. if you can spells 15 times in a row, you can give us a red rank. Right, chat? 
Oh, sadly nothing. I don't even know what I got from Falls. Probably just money. Just money. Rip. Well. Oh, that's right. You have a Rambling Bay out. Nice. I could eventually get some of those. I was kind of unlucky last time we ran. Like, I got a Rambling May and, like, a Vivian, but they were just so poorly rolled. I technically got them last event, but they were just borderline unusable. It's like, I was like, oh, I just need something to beat, a te like, a 15% dark Vivian. Not a, not a very high bar to set. It doesn't even have hit percentage. It's like, here's one with an machine. I'm like, uh... Wait. Thank you for playing, Chris. Hopefully you get some rest. Is there anybody else that would like to hop in for some random runs? Let us know. I'll take a look at that quest one more time. So for Exert Stage 1, you could potentially fight a total of 42 Chaos Bringers and a lot of Sinnoh Golds. No gold is a Gito 1975, which is okay. Just thinking from a red ID perspective, do they even want to go mines, even with that ability to get that? I think the problem is that their their mines are okay. Like a Gito 1975 heart of is fine, but it's obviously like no, it's no orange ID or yellow ID in terms of drops. I think they would honestly still just go through ruins. The only question is, what are their Oh, they only get a Suka from Grass Assassin. Hmm. Chat. Hmm. I don't know about that then. I guess the question is what you would do. Yeah, I, th I think Yellow AT still gets the, one of the most values. Unless there's something I'm forgetting. Blue ID? Is Blue ID Caves any good? I guess it's okay. So technically, you would try to play into Ruins to try to get Guardiana chances and, and uh, Heaven Strikers. Obviously, if you get Fowls, it kind of sucks, but I don't think they get anything from Grass Assassin. The only ones that get anything good are Yellow ID, White ID, Green ID, and Viridian. We've just played Viridian. Green ID doesn't want to do Mines. Maybe it would make sense to do. Kind of on the fence. I think Viridian and Green are probably the best. Just based off of the enemies. But if you go the mines route, it's kind of interesting. It's just a shame that uh the, the Darkbringer doesn't have anything for uh yellow ID. I think that's the only thing holding it back for being like the ultimate yellow ID quest. If the 30 Chaos Bringers were instead like bull claws, then it would be like their best ID. You just cycle like, one run it and be done with it, I guess. Hmm. So I guess the question is to the chat, what would you like to hunt for? It's drop rate up. I'm flexible to play whatever the chat wants. I could potentially remain a cast if you need me to. Wonder if orange is okay on it? Yeah, see, the problem is, like, there's just nothing of value in Grass Assassin on anything other than yellow, white, green, and Viridian. So, like, a majority of the hunt will be red partisan. If you go, like, the Mines route, it's not bad, but they also don't really get anything of interest in, from Darkbringer, unless you really like Prophets of Motab, I guess. I guess in theory you could try to get from that. But then, obviously, if you go to Falls, it's just kind of, eh. And Vol Op is okay. It's worth some PDs? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's P1 light, exactly. I'm just comparing the counts real quick. Would it be worth just running yellow ID into mines? It make more sense to do red ID. Sorry about the indecision, just something. Uh, 
See, I think the issue with Red ID is that because you go to mines, you're not guaranteed to get the thing that you're actually looking for. It's a little awkward. You would get a total of, if you go there, it's a total of 40 Sinnoh Golds, which is pretty good. But that's multiple layers of RNG, so more likely than not, the cave focus would be there. Actually, I have a, I have a question on something. Checking one more thing before I make a decision. Oh, purple only gets Bringer's right arm from Chaos Bringer. I was curious if purple mines would be worth it, because you'd fight the Catoines. And then you would go for Mill Lily while bored. Because <laughs> we know that Lily room is really stupid. Hmm. Okay. I think what we will do then, if we want to get V101, be the best quest to play. Give me one second. I'm assuming we... I'm assuming everybody needs one. I wouldn't mind more, because I'm going to make more characters. Originally, I didn't need them anymore. I don't want to do towards the future for it. That doesn't make any sense. do some orange ID runs. Although, I'm trying to think who I would need to play to do that. I guess I'd play a force into it, potentially. Hmm. Wait a second. There has to be a better option with this. I don't really want to do double force episode one. That feels awkward. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me check something. Oh yeah, there was that one really stupid quest. You know what, chat? Humor me for a moment. I'm gonna remain yellow ID. I'll host the game. I really want to know how you're supposed to do this one quest. Let's learn together one more time. And then choose never to play it again. Let's go for V101s on yellow ID. It'll be in mines. If anybody wants to hop in, we're in block two. I have so many luck materials. I'm gonna try to attempt to put some items away. We'll give chat a moment or two, if there's anybody listening in that they would like to hop in. Then we might just do some other ones. Uh, Scarlet Realm is okay, but that's not for Yellow ID. I don't have, like, an orange ID character, so maybe I need to do, like, an orange... Ranger or Hue cast at some point to deal with it. Because the way I see it, Aran is really good at episode 4 and mines and like, kind of nothing else to be real with you. I mean, I guess their spaceship is okay, but almost anybody can run spaceship. Aran, Ramarl, maybe. I could in theory make my... Ramar that I haven't made yet a uh, orange ID. I haven't decided what ID he should end up being. He would also be a flex pick for anywhere. I think he'd be fine. Alright, where is this where is this quest? Okay. We're we're going to experience this quest. I remember this quest being a nightmare. Where are my burgers, says the guy. But at least we have we have traps, we have a force, we have Front line. If I remember correctly, there's some absolute bullshit wall to the right here. Yeah, there we go. If we can survive the first room, should be fine. Now let's get rid of the guild checks. I am surprised this quest is still in the game, to be honest with you. I 
but at least with some traps and charge on it's not too new it's not too bad also this room is silly so many traps there's a warp over there interest there so every single one of those crates were bugged and we're on the other side of this room because this technically has the most barans in the game and it also has pretty early access to canoeans but we could get mixed value. I kind of refuse to run while Soul Blade anymore. I don't. I don't want to remember and be nostalgic about how good it was to get Zeno Blues. Like, nah, that's fine. A couple of these. Okay. Not here. Immediate trap in the face. So rude. Dark room, but I see a switch on the other side. I'm gonna go press it. I'm like, I only remember briefly getting past this area once. I tried this in single player, and I'm like, what am I experiencing? This is not a single player quest for sure. I love the Mega Trap. That is so evil. I don't think we could just throw those. Also, there's traps everywhere in this room. Okay, so there's some kind of console. I don't remember what that does in this quest. We lowered the energy lasers. What is the name of this so I don't play it? Oh, you don't want to do the Great Mine Offensive? Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Listen, chat, when well, we're doing Halloween cookies, I don't mind rooms like this. It's a lot of easy kills. Yeah, definitely a quest I would never consider soloing. I'm still 100% surprised they kept this quest in the game, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm using Heaven Striker. I'm not messing around with this quest. I'm berserking the traps. No, I don't want to berserk them. What am I shooting? Game, please. There we go. There are a million Barans here. I'd be dead from that. Oh, I didn't die. I was gonna say, Trap Vision trolled me, because my shots kept hitting the trap. That's a lot of Barans and it's terrifying. Oh boy, I'm gonna take a- I'm gonna take a path. Why, hello there, wall of enemies. Joke's on you. I guess I could heal every now and then, it should be fun. What did you miss? Oh, you're missing a quest. Don't worry about it. Oh, we have to walk all the way back if we did put a hell pipe down? That sucks. I don't remember which path I took. The chat remember? I, I honestly wasn't even thinking I had to memorize it. I thought they would just take me back to the other room. I will take the healing item though, I guess. I don't remember which one I picked. I just kind of arbitrarily picked one. Alright, I guess I went up first. Brands defeated. Wow, I got freeze megated. Wow. Okay. It's annoying. I don't mind the freeze, but the Megid is really obnoxious. I don't have good enough EDK for this. I'm getting sassed by Promethean. I'm like, listen, this quest is terrible. I want you all to witness this quest. I think this quest should just be removed from the quest list recommendations, to be real with you. The fact that you can't destroy the trap is like insane to me, that they would leave it in like this. Like, I could shoot it all day, it's just gonna body block shots from me. Is there not a switch to hit? Why? Why would they do this? Why would they do this, Janet? Bear witness. 
See, these are, these are what the quest, custom quests were like when I started playing. I remember this quest. This is pure evil. Oh, mm. I want you to appreciate how much better the quests have become. Which is, again, I'm really surprised they kept this in the game. I, I'm so surprised they left it in here. Given how much better every other quest is, I think we could all agree I would rather see almost any quest Omnispawn, multiple areas, over this quest. Like, the fact that you also have a force kill for Dubchick is insane to me. Like, why would you ever make a mechanic like this in your mind's quest? Who actually thinks this is fun? <laughs> Just for, like, honestly. Get out of here. Actual BS. I don't know why they do this. Oh, and you see that they did a Baran's trick, by the way. I want to point that out. So if you, oh, I'm dead. So if you point out a, if you surround a Baran's and it can't move, it instantly launches missiles. So I know that they knew this, and that's why they did the spawn like that. Just want you to be aware, chat. When you see that kind of nonsense, they did it on purpose. Just want you to know. Okay, I hit a switch. Why hello there? I mean, that spawn isn't too bad. I can technically make them just hit each other. Like, that spawn, even though it was kind of surprising, was very tame. Oh, wait, we have to go through the whole... Oh, come on, we have to go through the whole thing again? Holy... Shake your head, chat. Should we go north? Exactly. See, this, these are the kinds of things I hope they remove it. This quite this quest is offensive. Yeah, it's, it's definitely mine. It's definitely offensive. I agree. I have no telepipes because I got rid of them in the other quest. So we're we're here for the long haul. Speaking of long haul, I like that I spawned in immediately taking damage. That's my freeze trap went off. But pray tell happens when I use this console. He allegedly lowered the energy barrier. Oh, you got PD? That sucks. Put me in this room? Oh. And then we're back here again. I feel like I'm going insane. They looped it back to this room again. Holy. I would say use Ryuker. Oh, Trap Vision doesn't help me here. Hmm. I, I guess we could try going this way. I don't think I chose the correct direction. No Ryuker is allowed? Okay. Oh, chat went with me? No. I don't think I went the right way. Damn. Chat was there. Stream delay. Holy. This is a quest design, chat. Can we be real? It's like the quest design. Don't... Oh, yeah, there's multiple. Wait, there's multiple sets of warps. Wait, where does it, where does it want us to go? Oh no, it wasn't the top four. Okay, so it's not that one. I've ruled that out. Do both of them lead there? Wait a minute. This is a jail. It is a jail. Okay, so I don't take that one. So if I go to this one, because I think I went left. Okay, that's a new path. Okay, so it was straight ahead. I took the one where you just as soon as you enter the room, just go straight. I'm in a new room. We got there. But wait, did it just wait? It just put me back in this room. Wait, why though? What was the point of that? I'm now confused. Why did it put me back in this room? I'm so lost. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> why did it put me back in this room? Uh huh. I hit the switch that was here. <laughs> Maybe we're missing a console. Maybe. I'm back in this room again, which kind of sucks. Did we not talk to something in one of these rooms? I thought we used this one. Yeah, I can't use that one again. What is this madness? It's absolute madness. Found a switch. Okay, I'm slowly getting back to where I was earlier. Oh, there's another... Another teleport here. Oh, oh, no, I found it. Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm dead instantly. <laughs> well, I found out where to go, but at what cost? I don't even know how to describe to say how I got there. I think you're on the room path 
that leads to the correct one. So in the long hallway, there's immediately a warp. There's immediately a warp, and you can use that to uh, go to the death center that I teleported into, which I had no chance of surviving, by the way. Thanks, Vegan Traps. I I really question why this is in the game. <laughs> Chat, can we petition for this quest to be removed? Like, honest question. Is it possible? There's no reason for this quest to exist. I'll be real with you. I'm slowly getting there. The fact that it also doesn't allow Ryuker is maddening to me. I will take the Moon Atomizer from here for sure. I should be able to get back to where they are soon. Dot dot dot, I think. Oh no, I don't remember where I went from here. Why are there so many choices? I think I'm making progress? Okay, that's good. I'm back in the right room. Uh, I'm making progress. As long as I'm back in this room, I know how to get here. I don't want to go where those monsters are, but at least I can snipe from here. So Chad, I think, just needed to immediately turn right. But there were so many different ones. I don't know if Promethean said right at the other one. This is definitely where I wanted to go. And I did not make a right to go here. I, I, make a, I can make a right there. Um, I'm probably just going to die again. Yeah, that Migid is just too strong. What level is that Migid? I don't think I can complete the quest. Oh, my, I only have 780k. That's fair. Okay, I don't think I can complete the quest because they put a Miga trap as soon as you spawn in the other place. So I think I'm willing to give up on the quest. I was just curious what was beyond that point. I'll go. I think my curiosity is sated. <laughs> there we go. Now we can now we can officially choose to never continue again. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to put a Miga trap immediately when you spawn in a room with laser gates everywhere. I'm gonna give it a round of applause. Please remove this quest, Avinia. You, you, you literally have done better and proven you can do better. Yeah, chat was in the right room for me. You guys just didn't take the right warp. So if you go back in that long room, you could turn a right and then you would get back to where I died instantly because I don't have EDK. Yeah, I knew that there were traps in it. I forgot it had Miga traps, because again, it doesn't say anything in the, the wiki or anything like that, so I just don't remember. I remember there were, like, fireball traps, but Miga traps is like, nah, that's not actually complete completable now. We'll be like, nah. Yeah, there's somewhere to stand. I'm not really interested in clearing the rest of the quest. I I've seen about as much as I want to see. It's kind of like the orbs. It's kind of like orbs and the retrieval quest. Chat knows what I'm talking about in Ruins 3. I'll go... I got to experience it. That That's good enough for me. I don't think I need to see the rest. Like, no thanks. Let's see... Uh... I guess this chap brought it up. I guess we could technically go do Scarlet Realm 3. I'm not interested in going through that with Migid. I'm just going to get Migid killed randomly. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a good old slash lobby here. Here, uh, City killed the cast. Exactly. I feel like, nah, I think we're good. Let's instead just try Scarlet Realm one more time. And then what we'll do, we'll end with probably a TTF or two. Since we're coming up on my cutoff time. I'm willing, I think we could complete this and then do a TTF. But I have no interest in seeing the rest of that quest. I remember the first room being so bad that I didn't bother in single player getting beyond like two rooms. And now I see why. It's like a rote memorization quest with unkillable spammers. It's not really fun. Do one more than I gotta go. Yeah, we'll do one of these. I'm gonna be like, nah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hard pass. I 
If anybody wants to hop in for some TTF or whatever, we'll be doing it right after this quest. Or if you want to do Scarlet Realm 3, which is a much more reasonable quest, uh, we could go ahead and do that. I got everything I need for the quest. Oops, not maximum. Huh? So many quests. Yeah, it's th th just one of those ones. I don't know why that quest exists. So many questions. Yeah, we recently ran Scarlet Realm not that long ago. Because we were trying, I think, the revamp of the quest. And I think the revamps were mostly fine. I wasn't, like, in love with the quests, but I figured we'd show them off again. There you go, Chan. Go, go petition for that quest to be removed for, like, literally anything better, please, I beg of you. It can even be a Baran's heavy quest, if you want, if you want to make it one-to-one. -one. Yeah. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing an episode 2 quest that had randomness, but they had, like, two sets of difficulty to it. So, like, for example, you had one that just focuses on, like, early Episode 2, and one that focuses on, like, just high-end Episode 2. I think that could be interesting. Kind of splitting how they did Exerd 1. I actually really like the, the uh, Exerd 1 quest. Just because it gets rid of, like, the most spam quest anyway. be interesting if there were more options there. Hello, Sinnoh Red. Would you like to give us any Excalibur? Chris was definitely in love with the mine offensive. Not quite on par with Kirby's Great Cave offensive, but it was uh, pretty offensive. See, I would say the dub check surviving forever would have been more interesting if there were other enemies you could fight while also hitting them. Like, they start in the first wave, and then after a small delay, the other real wave comes in, and then you just gotta slowly chip them down. That would be, like, the only scenario I could think of where that would be kind of interesting. Keeply offensive, but not so great, exactly. Yeah, so they, they have removed quests in the past. In fact, I think chat's played a couple on stream before they got removed. I can only Frank's Revenge is better than that quest? Damn. Damn. You know it's bad when you're like, remember that fragments? <laughs> I'm missing fragments. I think that I think that should be the test of whether to keep a quest. Is it worse or better than uh, <laughs> Fragments of Memory Ruins Three? Should be the, like the, the the litmus test or something of whether you made a good quest or not. That's two times Lauren Verdi of Ruins Two Fragments, kind of nice. Yeah, I think I mostly just plenty. Uh, Mostly just because I was starting out, I just ended up doing Endless Nightmare for, for all my Swordsman lore. All the ones you see in my inventory today were from me getting other drops from it. 
while trying to get like my first bringer's arm and stuff like that. My first heavenly arms as well. Lots of arms, apparently. Yellow barrier. Oh, yellow ID. Your drops are so silly. Every time I think that I, I understand all of your drops, I'm just like, oh yeah, yellow ID box drops are stupid. Just get reminded every now and then. I'm like, oh, yeah, like literally every area they get a barrier or a useful amplifier. It's kind of silly. I put that in like the the, the section guide of, where, of just like how many raw force items yellow ID gets for no reason. Like the fact they also get Psycho Wand to me is hilarious. You're like, wait a minute, they get like access to every barrier and they get Gifoe Amp? You're like, wait, are you sure that's not a force ID? Double check real quick. The only thing they're missing, honestly, is Vito 1. They or and technically limiter. If they had both, it'd be over. We're like, hold on. V801 is currently only in episode 4. We needed more IDs to have it in episode 1. We replaced some drops in caves with V801. Yeah, like, can you... Yeah, well... Actually, their yellow ID drop is kind of good. But can you imagine if there's, like, a grass assassin hunt that had V801 or something like that? Grass Assassin Limiters. On oh, my face. Stupid robot. Uh oh, we just saved our game. For resting. Yay, slow mo. Yeah, extra verity or percent of blues. Yeah, see, the thing is, like, it was so common in TTF, I literally never ran it. I, I don't remember doing a single run on purpose for V101. It was just, I played for Red Ring, and by the time I got the Red Rings that I needed, I had literally everything at that point. Um, oh, Wagnon's next. Wait, did I remove Wagnon? Oh, no, it's here. Anyway, back to racing music. Yeah, like, I, as I said before, I have, like, 10 or 12 V101s. Almost all of them are from TTF. Because I just used to run Viridian. And I would just get, like, I don't know, like, every 40 runs I would get one. Which is not really hard to do when you're only doing Viridian TTF. Well, I got two from episode four. That's about it. I don't remember if I got any from mines. I probably did a couple times from like uh old IDs versus Viridian. Like I think I got V101s from this character in TTF, for example. Before the change. So many warps. Anything I missed on this side? Oh, never mind, I was capped. I did not need to come this way and realize I was capped. Oops. Didn't burn anything there. At least I can at least I did pick up some souls to go fix my synchro again. Guess there's progress being made there. So let's go ahead and hit this laser gate. Oh, or not. Eaten to the punch. more boxes, because yellow ID is busted. 
Yeah, I think we were talking about this before. Like, honestly, the reason why Yellow ID is so good is, like, not only is it good in every area, but, like, every box drop is, like, stupid good. It just... It makes no sense. Like, when you look at it, because most people only just look at the item charts, which, to be fair, is usually the only thing that's important. But then, like, you'll play jungle, and you'll just end up with, like, a foe EM for some BS, and you're like, wait, what? Why do they also get this here? Like, I think the only one with, like, overall, quote-unquote, more insane box drops is probably Pink ID, followed by Red, I think. Oh, pick a... Is this pick a path? Oh no, it's pick a path. How evil. Oh, my bad. Could have waited slightly to see. Oh god, I'm gonna hold still. Alright, we found the path. We're good. I'm like, I can't tell a pipe, so like otherwise I just skip it. There was this uh, also rip my buffs. Yeah, I re I remember the stupid fires on the floor. Here um minimum movement. Yeah, this quest will sometimes end up on RBR, which makes it definitely a lot better. Like, we did play it as this up before, and this quest not that long ago. So I figure it mixed things up. Goodbye, the enemies. Shotgun missed my trap. That was interesting. Let it sit for a little bit, then shot at it, and it was like, nah, I'm not gonna aim. Okay. Next game, I guess. Hello, Sinnoh Blue. Any fun box drops in here? Nope. I was gonna say, could I get a second yellow barrier? I know most IDs tend to get things on mines, at least. Even if it's just mags. Ooh, Star Atomizer is actually huge. Makes my sync grow up after the horrible Megan slaughter. 2024. Never forget, Chad, the constant Megan spam. material behind. Whatever. Never thought I'd need dress plate for mines ever? Exactly. That's why it didn't even cross my mind that I would need it. I was like, why? I didn't even know you could be good trap in episode one. But we learned, I guess. It's a thing you could choose to do. I don't know why you would. Oh, I see the switch. I got it. Or I missed. That's fine. We'll get there eventually. We'll just shoot the wall next to it. Good enough. Poor enemies. brands would you like to give us a good item i'm gonna say this it would have been funny if somebody got a v101 and excalibur in that room just like here you go here's the gifts uh i remember this room with the random rotating laser gates good times chat do you remember those 
I love when the patterns start dancing on the floor. We're in the tame part currently. We're about to get to nonsense fill if you're a hunter. I'm going for the thing on the ceiling. Oh, never mind. Multiple people went for it. Here it comes, chat. Okay, I'm already cut off. Try to hey, I guess on the sides. I remember I was playing Hunter the first time I played this quest, and I was like, I got stuck on the sides, and then the brand spawned in. I'm like, cool, I guess I die. <laughs> right, chat? Just, I'm just gonna go ahead and brace death real quick. I don't think I'm making it out of this one. Yeah, imagine just not having uh, what you need there. That hurt. Four enemies. Ooh, another star on a monster. <laughs> I'll need that to make up for all my mind's Mika deaths. By Sinnohs. A lot of Sinnoh reds. Good chances of something here at least. Blitz that guy out of existence. Yeah, doing super good with the Vulcans there. Assist the team a little more. Jack can see this is a this is a long room. It's fun as long as you're not hunter. Goodbye everybody. Charge Vulcan makes it okay, but man oh man, if you're playing melee... Alright, what was in this room? Obviously that way is the way to go. There's more boxes, okay. I mean, I'm gonna check every yellow ID box. <laughs> I'm convinced there's only like two or three areas total in the game where they don't get ultra value. And back up to 54%. Should be boxes again here, right? It is. Sadly, no more yellow barriers. I think we're doing okay, clear speed-wise. For three people, I'm like, all right. We were kind of blowing up all those Barans. That's all that matters. Sorry, this had a really terrible thought. If they start doing like the cross episode monsters. Like, can you imagine if we're in this S room and then they're like, you know what we're gonna do? Right in the middle of the S, we're gonna we're gonna put every one of the elemental lilies. Just see, just see every flower lined up. Dale Lily on one side, regular Lily also. It's like the cornerstones. Just constant walls of insta-death on ultimate raining down upon you. Of course, as you try to fight dub chicks with no switches, of course. The, the, way, the way the game was intended to be played. Nice try, Barans. I kind of remembered you were here. Ooh, nice shot off the edge there. Like that. Deal with the switch. Is that a, is that kind of an interesting spot? I'll give it that. Became like a puzzle. <laughs> Where is the kill switch? He, I was gonna say, he's dedicated. That Sinnoh was going in. Yeah, I kind of miss running mines, but I think between like Sinnoh Blues, just kind of gatekeeping lower level characters, I just don't end up coming back here. Cause this feels so miserable to deal with as like a human character without traps. 
I'm gonna keep some of my freeze traps alive. At least in multiplayer, you know, you have the group debuffs and stuff like that. But there's like other ways to get around it. See if I die to Barans. We'll find out. I might not. They spawned it like just as I started it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Chat, we'll take that all day. What great timing. Big damage time. Now it's like I'm always charge shotting. The little fires on the floor. You, they tried. I'm gonna go ahead and say no to this. Chad is just absolutely stomping them right now. Holy, the ATP buff is real. Say where the dub checks are bringing out the cannon rouge. Got red switches here. Oh, is this the one where you have to guess the order? Okay, I, th I think if parameter is guessed the order correctly. Yeah. Two left, two right, yeah. All this for a healing circle, huh? I, I was gonna say, I couldn't remember which one was like the Lieutenant Surge pick a pab. <laughs> Check the trash can chat. This is in C mode as well, mines. Oof. Oh, hello. I was say, I know this switch had to be somewhere around here, so I just fired in random directions. Oh, that was an assassination. I was gonna say, for people making custom quests, it's okay. You, you don't have to reference Sega's mistakes. You you can do better, it's fine. Just don't need to put them in, it's fine. Get rid of these enemies. Hello, Barans. I'd prefer if you froze here. Nice. Yeah, like, I do think with the rework of the areas, I think I do like the new one a lot better. It feels like there's more that's happening, even if there's not, like, a ton of ton of enemies. It does feel at least there's, like, not really long walks. Because I remember when we first did these kinds of quests where it was just, like, a really obnoxious walk fest. Where, like, we'd hit a switch and then we'd have to walk, like, two and a half or three rooms and just not fight anything. They were a bit better at it, where at least they're putting some spawns back if it makes us backtrack so there's something to do. And it also gives time for other people to catch up, which I like. You know, if they do want to do the pick a path splits, I want to make sure the people that are waiting are at least doing something. For the most part, you know, I think these cuts of reworks have been pretty good. Enemy totals are fine. Normal shump. Yeah, I think when we first played, the enemy count wasn't out yet for Scarlet Realm when they updated. But uh, looks like it's now definitely in the wiki. Uh, assuming it has to be above us. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was looking in the middle, but I couldn't see it. It's pretty high up there. Right out, help. Forgot how tall the ceiling was here. Nice. Oops. I just said it. Good 
by Baran. Oh, I got clipped. Damn. I even had the die made open and everything. That is so sad. Rest in peace, Super Bow. Dried. At least I got some use out of it. Like, more than, like, 10 rooms. Here we go. Here's the juicy part of the run. Let's get some more Sinnoh Reds killed. My enemies. Goodbye, Sinnoh Reds. Speaking of mags, I got a black colored mag. Slovo. been the slow mode. Welcome Ping, hope you're doing well. TTT. Goodbye, all these enemies. So many Sinnohs. There we go. Here's the value. More values coming in. Value bots being deployed. Skip ahead, because this is starting to have a lot of lyrics. <clears throat> I don't mind singing, but like that's usually the first thing that gets copyright is a bit of singing. Stuff like choirs and whatever, less likely. Lead singers, not so much. So many enemies. It's a long quest, but it's, it's, you know, it occupies you. It feels like I'm at least doing something constantly. That's all I really ask for in a quest, that it doesn't feel like it's wasting my time. Just key criteria number one. Okay. I'm going to put away the yellow barrier, which is not a bad pickup. Sadly, nothing crazy dropped on yellow ID, despite many, many, many rare chances. How many cookies are we back up to now? We were at 34 at the start of the stream. Oh, I left the other cookie on the other character. It should be at 36. Gain some cookies, I guess. But I think from the standpoint, I'm willing to do one more quest, and then that'll be it for me. We've had quite a long stream. I guess I could also just put away the cookie at this point on him. No worries, Draken. Appreciate you sticking around. Thank you again for reintroducing Exer to the group. As I said before, it's been a long time since we've done that on stream. But definitely very interesting to see that observation of the split route. Hmm. So I guess if we're going to TTO.
can try to do it with red ID. Because I do think that's my favorite ID so far for TTF. Get some slightly different rare chances after doing a ton of Viridian and a little bit of yellow today. Touch a green ID too. That way I have boss damage, I have traps, slime dupes. I have Twin Blaze to help at least for Vault Off, so it's not like totally hopeless. Jab, we're gonna do one TTF. And that will conclude today's stream. I need to figure out what to do with all these HP materials. Probably have to sell him as trade fodder or something at some point. Like, technically, I could consume three just to put myself at like 1401. But I know that I'm gonna level and go past it. In fact, how many materials did she eat? I'm assuming like 20 or something. Hopefully, not like 100 or something insane. Because I know her health total was kind of mediocre. 60? Eh, that's fine. I could test that out. Yeah, her, her the rest of her materials make no sense. Don't worry about it, chat. Like, that 8 luck. I was like, I accidentally over... I think I either over evaded or over, de or over defense, and then I just committed to dumping into power and defense and not bothering wasting out of their luck material. Because I was like, man, I went to menu something and just ate a material by accident. Actually, I should probably get some healing items. Yeah, of all the tools I need to succeed. She even has her own vice full time now, which is kind of nice. Goodbye, my money. Hopefully, we get it back with boss drops. Order inventory. Got at least one scape doll. I mean, I think a parameter and I can solo carry. Raw Marl's pretty good at just being enough of a support and also being good at bosses, so I'm not really worried about clear. I have 1301 ATP, which is not low by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's just the two of us. So next weekend chat, we'll try to figure out if we have enough people. I I want to do challenge mode while we have at least three people. But that should be the this should be one of the final Halloween event streams for PSO. And in general, Spooktober will be at an official end in November, because you know, PSO does weird things. But I think from the standpoint of that, we might try a little bit of challenge mode, see how things go. Because I think we could get at least another hour and a half or two hours of challenge mode every day in the weekend, which is not that big of a commitment. Like four hours, yes. But eleven o'clock, starting at 11 o'clock, I think most people can sign in if they really want to do challenge mode by 11. I don't feel like that's a, a big ask on Eastern Standard Time. That still lets potentially Chris join in as needed too. Despite the time zone differences. So like we would be concluding, we do like 11 to 1 basically. Or if we don't think we can fit another run, we just end a little early, which is fun. Goodbye Telos. Oh, no discos. What a shame. I'm gonna say, time to equip the vice. Overall, not too bad. We saw multiple people get Halloween cookies okay amount of PDs for what it was. Oosh. Oosh. Thank you, Dark Flow. The whoosh is real. I don't think I got it. It was slightly too early. 
nicely done. I might as well as box check since I'm here for materials. I got nothing better to do. I'm not looking to go in the room first ever when it's red ID. Defense material, moons, eh. I mean, you can get PDs from it, so you might as well as check it for PDs. But HP material, power, luck, mind, all that would be acceptable for me. I'm not just looking for one specific item. One, two, three. Afterwards, one, two, three, use Disca. Uh, fairly clean. Surviving this room, we'll see. I might panic try me. See what happens here. Probably at minimum want to confuse trap them, so they might get a kill or two. Worth a shot. Make our ranger's life easy. Two, three. Lime dupe in time. Sadly, looks like we will not be getting rare slimed. Who knows? We can still get Halloween cookie or PD. There's a lot of slimes here. Sadly, not the case. Look at that, chat. I'm on time for the door. Help kill some of the Volmers with Confuse. Basically did the equivalency of like two or three shotgun shots to the whole room. We're definitely going to whip out Jaya. Ooh, no invincibility. Boo. Right, chat? Worst scenario. Jeez, this is going to be so bad for me. Oh, boy. Uh, of course. Get giant. Get out of here. Stupid boss. So sad, chat. That, that loses like five or six seconds when that happens. So sad. Rest in peace, the 40,000. Oh, that's right. Just get Brain Man can drop from boxes and caves. I almost forgot about that. So there are actually a pretty good op amount of opportunities for uh, Disca then. Right, this is definitely a confused trap punchy punch room. Stop fighting each other, I got too far. I might as well clear at least one wave. I don't think it's worth clearing two with just two people. At least I could say I did some hard of chances. That way I could be there for the next room. Since I have to wait anyway. It, that's This is like my normal non-event clear where I just kill a guild chick while waiting. You see, we can see the door is open, and I'm basically there anyway, so I could kill a couple of these if I want to. Use trap should end me a couple kills here. Well, maybe one kill. If I'm lucky, too. Yeah, we're gonna have a little dance around with these enemies. It's fine. They can knock me down. This doesn't impact me at all. Bye, Sino Blues. It's an easy kill. I might as well kill these because they have hard of chances anyway. Too shabby. Try to slow it down with Twin Blaze. Leave it up to Imperimeter how he's going to stun lock. So 
but thanks to Promethean giving me this earlier. I should at least be able to assist more here, rather than just being dead weight in this phase. There's no reason for me to not spam this. It's just free damage whenever I shake it like that. It's not like I do very much damage to the monitors. See, like there, I just got a triple hit on it, which is kind of nice. Fortunately, it looked like it was only a double monitor cycle, which is unfortunate. There we go. Like that. Alright, let's see, Chad. Will it just immediately target me with the blue shiny thing? Will the blinking light try to send me into heaven? I hope it doesn't focus me. Please don't target me while I'm disking. I did not get targeted. Nice clear. take a try mate and restore what I had. Okay. Ended up basically a fool. That's not too bad. Guess I'll go for the freeze into maybe a disco. Now that was a fast clear. I'm gonna stay behind here and try to get a kill. It didn't look left. <laughs> I held left. I only very slightly turned. That really sucked. Hit when I'm like slightly too fast for the game. Like I definitely hit the buttons. It's just I think I was still in an attack when I was holding it. Unfortunate. Fortunately, I still do insanely good damage. It does not matter that I don't have Shifter right now. You know what? I'll confuse them. That should be fun. Thank you, Last Swan, for your damage being stupid. Nice kill. Okay, since I don't have Shifter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Confuse Trap here to offset. So by the time I kill this guy, the other ones should just be easy pickings. There we go. This is how we compensate not having good stats. And look at that, Chad. I got another luck material. Because of course I did. Take your head, Chad. Like, every run. Every run at this point. Fortunately, this clear is going to be a little slow. I don't think I brought a good melee weapon for this. I could try to gear a soul, I guess. Yeah. Without shift, though, that's kind of rough. This enemy is more of a gatekeeper for me. To this. Oh, there we go. Much better. Easy kills. Thank you, Last Swan, for existing. For the reason you can see it feels kind of fun to play, no matter what I'm doing. Spread needle. We tried. On the plus side, if I really don't feel like taking it from falls, I'm just gonna twins to dodge their laser blast into a uh, big shifted D band. I guess technically we could have done it before the fight, but it's fun. these enemies for sure. Mm -mm -mm. I guess I'm feeling up to it. I could just vice the boss. 
The question is, do I think I can kill fast enough with Zillor 20? I mean, at least it's a 50 hit vice. I should probably go for it. Might have escaped all. Not entirely sure. Ah, oh, that was worth it. Goodbye, my health total. Perfect RNG, honestly. I'll take that all day over the nonsense we saw earlier. One spell into holding still. So good. Ooh, I did so much damage there. Oh, short cycle. I'm twinsing you. This is what you get. <laughs> All right, chat. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You want to do that to me? Oh, I'm going to delete you now. Big damage time. Oh, only 25? Never mind, not as big damage as I thought. But on the plus side, 157, I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Burst that boss down. GG falls. <laughs> Dead already? Dead already indeed. Nice level up. Sadly, there did the Disca did drop, but it was uh, not great. Needless to say, no hit percentage. Trap vision, oof. Yeah, can we also petition for bosses to just drop guaranteed, not trap vision and stuff like that? Fix the boss tables. Make them guaranteed money instead. If trap vision equal Masetta. Well, I'm so poor right now. Look at that. Down to 3,000 total money on this character. Damn, die is expensive, Jam. At least we'll get some of it backhanding in the quest. So I have enough for like two Jaya swings. Other than that, I'm on my own in the future. Unless I withdraw more cash. Such is the life of a uh, low party count hunter, sadly. But anyway, chat, I think we're going to take a break here for the day. Let's chat about how we think things went. Well, we got to experience the mine offensive, and I think we can all agree it was very special. It's un one could say unforgettable. You'll be like, where were you when you watched mine offensive? That quest is, uh, hmm. Very, very special. But I think from the standpoint of the... <laughs> this one is special! <laughs> it is very special. But I think from the overall drops, I mean, we just got a lot of monster kills. Sadly, despite getting kind of decent luck on the 50-50s of Exerd, we didn't end up getting any V101s. 
But hey, we did end up getting Halloween cookies in the quest and multiple PDs. So I'm not going to complain when it comes to that. I think I think that actually went about as expected for ultimate. Can't complain there. We did end up doing more falls than I was expecting because we were running so many uh, exerts, which to be honest, I kind of want to start doing more than TTF because I don't really need anything from TTF at this point other than Red Ring. But at the same time, it's very boring running just Red Ring over and over. So I might enter this into the rotation. So that way we could get more enemy focus drops. So I would highly, highly expect this to happen in the next bonus stream that we're going to be doing probably at least an hour to two hours of Exerd. Just because it is kind of quote unquote the new quest of the stream. And still will end up in giving us some boss drops here and there. But anyway, chat, that's all I have to really say for this session. So thank you to everybody that joined. Thank you again for the support throughout. Happy stream anniversary, I guess. <laughs> again, I forgot to set that to sometime in December. But it is what it is there. So with that, well, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. And hope to see you again in the last part of Halloween.